folks. Here we are. Oh, it's the Super Mario Podcast. Happy oh. Halloween. <laughs> what? Thank you. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Oh, yeah, Peter. All right. We are fucking virgins, huh? Look at these nerds. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, we got we're candy fun. and video Speak games. for yourself. I'd clean up in Japan right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Soder's yeah. with us. Our boy. Yeah. Our boy for so long. We've been tight with him for so many years. This is fun, dude. That's Billions, fun. Netflix, HBO, Comedy Central, the bonfire. Mom. Bonfire. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mom. Every time you say my credits, I got to eat it like a coin. Uh, <laughs> Mom. Who Mom. is your go-to in the in the Mario Kart? Who's your driver? I do like Yoshi, honestly. Yoshi's, Yoshi's fun. fun. Yoshi's my guy. I'm a big. Uh, I'm a big Mario Kart on the Switch. Mm. So I love it. I was just a little na. For your boy? Absolutely. Yeah. What is um, this uh, beer juice? Uh, uh, today we're doing uh, just like a little simple haunted fruit punch with some uh, nice cherries on there. Spooky. All right, dude. Oh, Love it. Yeah. This would be that. funny is this if you guys planned all this to get me off the wagon. Yeah. This was it. You, like, I, I don't want you back on the wagon because I remember you were a beer and a shot drinker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Woo! is a, a reverse intervention. We planned all this to get you back. This is a lovely non-alcoholic drink. Ooh, that is tasty. Well I bet done. if you put booze in that, it'd be real I have, spooky. I have a confession to make. I, well, last I tried to get soda on the Bachelor Party episode, which comes out next week. Mm. And uh, that, that was took a, a year off my life. It killed it. me. Partially because DeRosa, every fucking 10 minutes, <laughs> shots. Yeah. Shots. Yeah. So, like four in the afternoon. We're all on the road so much that I can't tell when I'm sick anymore because I just never feel good. <laughs> yeah. so, so I go and feeling pretty rough, but I'm like, is it allergies? I don't know. But I'm like, eh, whatever. Mm hmm. Probably had 10 to 12 drinks that night easily. I mean, yeah. we went out for steaks easy. after. I mean, easy. we easily had that many. And DeRosa, even at dinner, is like, drinks, drinks. I know, we're I know. wasted. And, you know, I went on stage. I'm like, you Same. know when you're on stage struggling to enunciate? Yeah. That was uh, that was at the Comedy Cellar, the late show. That was one of the shows I realized that it was time to pack it up. Oh, really? <laughs> I was I got so drunk at Triona's because I never wanted to see, I never wanted SD to see me drink. Ah. Uh, because on Friday nights, you're there for like four spots. Yeah, Triona's yeah. is a bar down the street from the cellar. In the West Village. And so I'd go around the corner and just do shots with beers. And, dude, I was on stage at the late show. And I was like, I just couldn't. Couldn't talk. Yeah. I was like, damn. I remember when I got into the cellar, I saw Colin Quinn, you know, hero. And I was like, any advice? He goes, just don't drink. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I had a whiskey. <laughs> I was like, fuck, this is bad. But he's oh. right, because you get too drunk and it, it gets ugly. He just keeps going. He's like, no observational humor. That's kind of lame. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Saying comedy, that's pretty stupid, uh, you know? No, no praise Allah. <laughs> but uh, a bachelor party drinking is a, that's a long, that's a marathon. We yeah. got, we did four hours. Hours and I mean the episode's a banger next week uh, coming oh, yeah. out, Big uh, yes. but dude, that it set me back so many fucking days. I was Same. in Phoenix last weekend. I was dying. I, I took a COVID test. I was negative, but I was doing those shows where I'm like, I'm of like the mentality. If I can perform, I'll perform. Sure. Yeah. But it was like this that 90s Knicks Patrick Ewing knees in the ice bucket. <laughs> I'm like, I'll, I'll power through. Well, but holy shit. Were I you was, at Stand Up Live? I was at Stand Up Live. So you can go right to the hotel after right that. Right to the hotel. I was with Vitor. Yeah. Uh, and I, every time I got off stage, I would like collapse. They yeah. would hand me NyQuil. I just down it. Oh, you know? Damn. It was that level of sick. I'm yeah. telling you, you ha yeah, that was your Jordan flu game. <laughs> right. You have to, uh, man, taking a week off. I know. I don't even drink and I take weeks off. And I really? Feel, and I feel it where I'm like, take a week off the road and you're like, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching Sober October with these guys, and they're they're all looking better. They look eight years younger. They're all like on the treadmill. I'm like, damn, maybe I should do that. I quit drinking, uh, and everyone was like, hey, good for you. I quit smoking cigarettes, and everyone was like, you look ten years younger. Oh, the cigs. Wow. I think it was you. the cigs that were getting me. But man, do I miss those the most? They really? work. Cigarettes work. The second Putin threatens nuclear anything, I'm buying a pack of cigarettes. Lighten up. I'm you know Leonard Cohen? He said if he made it to eighty, he would start smoking cigarettes again, and he did. Oh wow! He died very soon after. Good That's fucking awesome. Good yeah, for him. I said seventy. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm, 70, I'm going to start drinking and smoking again. Yeah. All right. Well, I, so I guess you'll never be drinking and smoking. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right. I quit I quit at 29 so I could get fucked up at 70. There you go. That's the, but then your body is... A hangover at 70 has got to oh, hurt. Oh, oh, take me to my wife. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, already, you're already in a wheelchair probably, yeah. and you got the IV. You got the feedback, and yeah. you got Jamaican yeah. nanny. You, know, yeah, you, got, a Jamaican la- you got a Jamaican lady that's going to give you a hangover yeah. cure. Exactly. In the home. Because being old is basically the same as hungover. It is. You know? It's you just, just a weep. life hangover. Right. You just <laughs> lived all your life, and then now you're hungover, and you're fucking... I'm looking at my grandma who's 94. Bad hangover right Exactly. Now. <laughs> she's like, everything she does, she's just like, where's my fucking keys? Yeah. That's, you know, that's how you feel on stage when you're sick. You just feel old. I'm just oh, walking yeah, slowly. Oh, my yes. voice isn't great. And then like, people woo. They're like, woo! You're like, yeah. shut up! But Phoenix you know, is a tough city to be sick in. Oh, they yeah. go, they go hard. They're and it's rowdy. also hot, hot as shit. Hot cities are not easy to be sick in. Yeah, yeah. but your thing, you have a great voice, so you never got the smoky Stevo. Ah. I started getting it. It started coming. Yeah. It started getting a you little raspy. That. Look, look at Chappelle. He's getting a little. Oh little yeah, clinky. the way Dave's like. Everybody knows that I am, but now it's even smokier. JL Calvin does it perfect. Oh really? I do. I do more Chappelle show era Chappelle. You're killing him softly. Yeah, Chappelle. I do. Ch- killing him softly. Chappelle. JL can do the smoky one. Oh wow! Like, you gotta understand, man. It's just like it's pretty good. Yeah, but Dave's got. He's been smoking for. Well, have you heard Tom Waits? Oh my! I mean, Tom Waits already like too. Sounded ho- I know he came in with a gruff voice at like twenty eight. Yeah. Now seismologists have to say what he's saying. Where it's like, <laughs> eh, eh, eh. it's like it's rumbling that I'll, I'll the, decipher. The piano has been drinking. I don't know. <laughs> Is he the one? Who am I thinking of? On he's on Letterman and he's hilarious. He's mad funny on. He's Letterman. He's super quick. Tom yeah. Waits. Tom Waits. Yeah, he's yeah. Good. Tom Waits rules. He's a sexy guy. Something about him. He's a guy that yeah. He's not like classically. He's not a handsome guy, but he's he's got that. He's got it. Yeah, dude. He Tom Waits has got fuck. some fucking bangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's he's an got an hour some and twenty six minute clip of him. That's more than most comedians. Yo, if Letterman has you on that much, it means you're fucking fun. Right. Right. Yeah. I think he's got a couple great lines. Even this young Tom Waits, he looks older than us. Yeah. He sounds like if an old house could talk. (laughs) (laughs) You know, like in Pixar movies? Right. (laughs) You don't want to live in me. I'm an old house. Isn't that the dream? I just want to be on Bob's Burgers and then do stand-up, and you'll never work a day in your life. That's it. That's where I'm going. Do you do for. a lot of voiceover? I do voiceover stuff. Oh, what have you, what have you been doing? Uh, recently, I did Paradise PD on Netflix. I do NFL Films Top nice. 100. Wow. I, do, I want so I told NFL Films so I've been doing it for six years. I'm like, hey, when your guy dies, I want the season recap job. I want to be like that year the Raiders knew that fall would bring, you know, and then just do where they score it. (laughs) Yeah. I want that job. You could be the next Attenborough. Dude, I would, yeah, I would fucking love, just get high and talk about seagulls. (laughs) <laughs> Look at this guy Yeah, the rhino presents himself <laughs> Yeah, exactly that, I could watch that shit all day Yeah, they go pause I go, are we going to see this rhino fuck? Yeah <laughs> It's just like the scrapped ones Somebody had a bit about how like It'd be fun to narrate like dudes at a bar With, with Attenborough Oh, you yeah know, like, like picking up a chick Well, uh, they kind of <laughs> did that on Chappelle's show With when keeping it real goes wrong They did the NFL films thing uh, remember, remember when he was like But he wasn't there yeah. Instead It was, a, yeah We're keeping it real goes wrong Wrong. Mm. That was a great one. Man, I, Chappelle's show was a banger. Keeping it real, oh, there you go. Sally's on it. <laughs> oh, you know what it was? It was uh, Great Moments in Hook Up History. That, that was when they did right. NFL films. Dude, uh, I, did, I did a few voices on 10-Year-Old Tom on HBO. This oh, hell yeah. Time. That's a great show. That shows, I yeah. mean, that whole, that's like. Steve Dodarian rules. Did you ever watch Life, Life of Times with Tim? Of Tim? Oh, that's Jay, good. Jay's show. obsessed with it and it's got me into show. it. It's very funny. Yeah, I love Dead Nick Dead Kroll. Like that Kroll's great Yeah, it. It's got a lot of great shit on there, but. But uh, that's but awesome. But a lot, when you do the voiceover with him, you do the script, and then you just he's like, all right, let's riff a few. Yeah. And you just keep riffing, and he's fun to riff with because he's awesome. so – he'll just go in weird directions. And <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, all right. You yeah, know? I always liked um, – <sighs> like I remember when we were all doing mics or whatever and Bob's Burger came out, Bob's Burgers, and Todd Berry did the voice of a cow. Wow. I was like – 
excited. Yeah. Because I was like, we're, I was like, Todd Barry. That's Todd Barry on the, or of like, course. you know, Eugene Merman was like the son. Because yeah. it seems so great just to get a voiceover job. And then... I mean, did you hear Michelle Wolf got uh, the new GTA? <laughs> I'm just setting you up. <laughs> was, get out of the fucking car. I'll kill you. That's my car. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you comedian Michelle Wolf? Don't look at my fucking face. <laughs> I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you. <laughs> you need the Pulp Fiction music right there. Be cool, honey buddy. Yeah. Any of like, you motherfuckers move, and I'll execute every motherfucking <laughs> last one. <laughs> I heard uh, I heard Macho Man Randy Savage go oh, GTA nah. Five as well. <laughs> That's who I play on Paradise PD. I, they like let me do Macho Man on Paradise PD, and they were like, oh. at one point they were like, just cut a promo. And so they gave me like things that I was supposed to say, and that was that was the most fun. Damn, because there I was in like a big, you know, a fancy sound booth. Yeah, with the headphones on, and just being like, yeah, and another thing. <laughs> so I cut, I cut it as Damn. his, um, as his, uh, as his ghost. Oh, dude, God bless Mean Gene. Yeah, that guy was yeah. a killer. Was the cream man. rises to the top, killer. dude? Is it? No, he's got the purple shirt on. He does cream. Person, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like comics. They have to build a persona. Dude, and the way that he would like, you know, he has like little isms, like the way he would go down and pop. Mm. And he'd be like, yeah, I'm telling you something right now. There is no way. Yeah. And it was wow. just like, my favorite's my favorite line is when he goes, cup of coffee. He starts off with a coffee and he goes, cup of coffee. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. And like, that's, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. There's you better a believe I, mean, I got Slim Jims only because of him. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hated him when I was a kid because I was such a big Hulk Hogan fan. I fucking, wow. I was such a macho man guy. I don't know why. It's always that. It's like his breath is he just took a giant hit of weed. Yeah. Yeah. How do you create that? How do you craft yeah. that? Did he uh, just they pull sh- that out of his ass? There's a great interview with his brother where his brother talks about like the two guys. It's like comics. We're all influenced by people. The wrestlers yeah. are influenced. So there was like guys that worked the territories and his dad was a professional wrestler. Uh, so there's two guys that he liked. So when he was coming up, he was like practicing, doing that breathy like. Right. It, it might, it's not Bruiser Brody, but it's like somebody like that that does like the holding in your breath like, I'm going to talk like that. And then right. he just added uh, in. The, yeah. So. Dan, do you know the origin story of the cream? That he just took it from catering? Yeah, pretty much. They would challenge each other backstage. Be like, do something with this, and they'd throw it at him. Oh, really? Like yeah, freestyle, yeah. Like freestyle oh. battles? Yes, yes. To like work, yeah. Just we in a position that I'd rather not be in. I also love that that t-shirt looks like a short sleeve turtleneck. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, like he's so muscular. He's like, even when I'm artsy, yeah, I gotta lift the arms out. <laughs> they're they're basically like improv yeah. savants. They well, that's go. what that's why uh, like wrestling kind of sucked for a while because Vince McMahon controlled their promos. Oh. He like it was like they, what would they do to us with TV sets? Right. That's what Vince McMahon did to everybody. You can't fuck with the artist. And then they were like, because this is back in the day. Every this is roids and let, cocaine. Dude. Anytime yep. you let the performers do what they do. It is going to be better. That's yeah. what, that was what happened with Louis. FX right. let Louis make it, and then everyone was like, "That's so genius!" That's and you're like, TV. "Oh, the guy made the thing he wanted to make." Exactly. Yeah. And then now they're like, "That's what a concept!" I yeah. know. Everybody wanted the Louis deal because this is something that networks don't like hearing, but it's the truth. Is there's a lot of people that work there that really don't do anything. Of yeah. course, and but they feel like they need to do something. Yeah. So their job is to be like, ah, "I think we should change that." Yep. And then if you challenge it, you're, like, difficult to work with. Yeah. And you're like, I don't think that's why I do that. I'll right. work with people who will, like, literally change something and then change it back in the next paragraph. And I'm like, you're just wasting time. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is crazy. They f- they canceled Family Guy twice. I know. And then it's it's been as big. It's just under The Simpsons as far as how big it's been for Fox. Right. Yeah. That's true. And it's so great. Everybody loves it. And it's, yeah. like, the, the funniest show. I remember when they canceled, we were all in college, mm. and you had to get it on, like, Morpheus or, like, <laughs> LimeWire. Yeah, Morpheus. Kazaa. Yeah, Kazaa. You'd have to go download it on Kazaa. That's true. Holy Damn. God, the industry sucks. That's why the internet's winning, you fucking cum guzzlers. But you know what's funny is that now the internet's just letting too many people in. Wow. Well, <laughs> now the no club, gate. now you did the thing where you're like, I'm going to throw a party in a fee 
sealed so no one so no one gets uninvited and then everyone showed up and you're like shit I got a bouncer for this thing right. yeah, gatekeepers did have some merit they have some, some merit, merit. Some. they had too much power too much yeah. power but some merit we but just, they were keeping some real shit bags out yeah, they we were. just need the little thing you put when you have a toddler in the doorway <laughs> we need like just a little bit if you can figure out how to lift yes, it up yes. you can come in the, the little yeah. knob thing yeah but yeah now yeah. it's, it's, it's no, like, no gate at all and like you know Chappelle I love Chappelle but I, I don't he the could re- use a gate. The race, the recent <laughs> stuff. I'm like, Dave, what are we doing? Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna sit on stage and read my tax returns. I know. Now this is going by <laughs> how I filed it by state. Yeah, part of me is like, maybe I'll stab. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go up there. <laughs> yeah. that, guy, again. that guy was just yelling structure. <laughs> That's what he was yelling at Dave. <laughs> He's like a comedy. He was a fan. <laughs> that, guy, that guy loved him. He's like, go I back. preferred your earlier stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I loved when you had a clear premise on a bit. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was funny when Mulaney had Chappelle do a set and everyone got mad at Mulaney. You're, uh, like, you're seeing two of the greatest comedians of all time know, on three. the same bill yep. and you're upset about it. Yeah, in Ohio, think how that would have played in Portland, Oregon. Oh, oh. They would have burned the city. <laughs> Holy shit. But also it would have been funny if Mulaney just did super anti-trans <laughs> stuff. <laughs> the whole, he just went up there and goes, you know what I don't understand? <laughs> Trans. <laughs> well, what are you? <laughs> are you a he or a she? <laughs> and then Chappelle goes and Chappelle, Chappelle, they tag in. Yeah, like, Chappelle. I was going to say, I don't know if they pee us out. <laughs> they got a new pod God coming damn. out calling, what is it? <laughs> Peters, we need we need one for it. We need one. Get us. Uh, uh, give me a you got to be way more liberal with these. Okay. Uh-oh. We're getting oh, nothing. No, dude. Is... Hey! There we go. Hey. That was... Mario. Mazel. That was a red shell you threw just then. <laughs> That's oh yeah, dude. we were talking about Mario Kart though. I played it on Switch. Oh, was it good yeah. on? Oh, you know what? We were playing. Thing I was playing games. with Mateo on Switch once, and he's so good at the game. And he's like keeping rules from us that you have to like you know hit that R. I yeah, guess the to slide, turn. the power slide. I fucking I'm like, dude. Of course you're you're keeping rules from us. Got to be transparent. Got to be the, transparent. You got to know about. You also when you jump off jumps, you get a boost. Yeah. Whoa. I didn't, I didn't know, know any of this shit. I've been playing for 20 killed. years. I didn't know that. Well, they add, that's a new rule, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, you know. Oh, okay. How about that Rainbow Land? That's I'll, trippy. Dude, I love it. I love it. It's that's it's Mario Kart to me signifies the end of a two show night when I'm just like eating candy in my hotel room. Oh, yeah. Just laying there and I'm like, damn, dude, I'm a child. Yeah. <laughs> just playing Mario Kart. Well, that blew my mind. I think I worked with Nate once, and he had like a, him and a Big J had NBA Jam. I oh, yeah. Like, I didn't know we could do this. It felt like overload of too much fun. Comedy, booze, oh, video yeah. games. You just get all the stuff hooker? you wanted? Yeah. Big J and I were both once in Indianapolis. We were both playing the uh, different crackers clubs. Yeah. And, oh, uh, quit bragging. I, I, yeah, it was not great. But uh, Jay brought his Xbox, and we're just playing NBA 2K. All, I'm like, this is, dude, why does, does everyone do this? Yeah, Vitor and I used to, when we worked comedy on state one year, we were doing Valentine's Day, so they did three shows in the night. Mm. And we, in between shows, we'd go back and play a game to NBA 2K. And then by the time we got back to the club, it was sat and like ready to go. Yeah, it was awesome. It was like you just reloaded it. You're like, <laughs> all right, reload. Reload. It was so fun. I wonder if comics in the 60s are like, we got Scrabble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> when Jenga broke. Shoots and yeah. ladders. But you know what's funny is there was a part I, I read in Bill Hicks's biography where they said that when Nintendo came out, he bought a Nintendo and he was sober and that like him playing oh, him playing Mario oh, Brothers was like a big huge. deal. That's I wouldn't have survived in the 80s. We would have all been dead. The blow alone. The yeah. blow and the and the and the lack of yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's my heart at a fucking you know side splitters. And oh, geez, but also the but here's what because of all the drugs, the comedy bar was so much lower. Like, have you ever seen clips of like Richard Belzer in the 80s? And they're like, he was a crowd work genius. And I you know. see the clip, and I'm like, I don't even know what he's talking. Look at about. this homo. <laughs> yeah. oh, Look at you. They're just saying words that you're like, well, that would end my career right now. Yeah. My favorite is. On that Paul Provenza green room, I used thing. to love that show. When uh, Stanhope's talking about a, his book, yes, and then Belzer goes like, Whoa, "What is this?" I forget what Stanhope's talking about, but he's talking about something. Belzer goes, "What is this? What are you? What are you selling the thing?" And then Stanhope goes, "Belzer, I bought your book." Yeah, yeah, so, so good. Yeah, I loved it. He's called him out. Yeah. Well, it's it's old 
hack versus hilarious guys yeah. in their prime. He is good on Law and Order SVU. Though. All right. Well, he's Bells good at that, right. that drama getting, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get on that show, by the way. What the hell? Why yeah, Colin we... Quinn's got that bit about how he's, favorite. he's a New Yorker and he's like he's like the only New Yorker that hasn't been asked on Law and Order SVU. He's, yeah. like, he's like, I have stumbled onto the set by accident multiple <laughs> times. I love that bit. That's Anytime he goes bit. to that bit because then he does what he thinks his Law and Order episode would be. Oh, so that's good. fun. You know, you mentioned Nintendo with Bill Hicks. Nintendo should market as like, hey, hey, quit drinking. This Play is us. healthier. Yeah, yeah, that's a great little uh, way to sell more units. Damn. Because it really, yeah, you're absolutely correct. That that would be a way for alcoholics to be like, hey, I can go play Zelda right. and not ruin my family. Exactly. Yeah, but drinking on the road is fun. Oh, it's 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 sad now that it's almost Pavlovian. Like, I get into the club, I, I have tequila on my rider, so I don't have to wait for a waitress. That's how bad of a booze that's hound a I am. Yeah, that's a problem. Like, I don't want to wait for uh, eight minutes for this, uh, you know, mom of three to bring me a tequila soda. I need it right now. Yeah. So I make it right when I get there, and I'm like, all right, I'm back. Do you have a specific tequila? I've been... This is going to get ugly. Why? I'm out with Casamigos. What? I'm out, Jerry. What happened? Well, I've been <laughs> I've been reading all about tequilas because I'm trying to. If I'm going to drink this much, I'm trying to stay uh, somewhat healthy. It's I hate to do this and out these 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 Clooney's of the world, but it, it's he's out of, now. He's not with it anymore. It's full of garbage. It's all yacked up with all kinds of shit. It's stepped on. It's got all kinds of condiments and additives and all this Damn, shit. Really? Terramana all the way. No, not Terramana. The rocks. Yes, the rocks. It's I've had it. Better. It tastes I mean, pretty good. I'm doing I'm doing research here on like what's better for you. You know, it's all poison at the end of the uh, day. That does make sense that the rocks is it's cleaner. It's cleaner. Yeah. Give it a goog. I'm telling you, there, Toadstool. I don't know. I don't dude. know why we're plugging the rocks tequila on here. Even, he doesn't need more press. No, I'm not. He's even doing okay. Play. Well, what's funny is I that Mexican restaurant I used to work at. They made us get certified in tequila. Oh wow! So you know a lot about tequila? I did. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I retained it. it but <laughs> uh, Vince Neal came in. Oh, the Cabo Wabo. He has like Trace Rios. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking of Sa Sammy Hagar. Yeah, that's Cabo Wabo. Yeah, every celebrity has a tequila. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a podcast with comedians. Yes, if you're yes. famous. You have to that's fucking. Tweet. You have to have a tequila, and that's we have so a whiskey. Cute. So yeah, Aha. exactly. Uh, BodegaCatWhiskey.com, folks. In the game, motherfuckers. But he, but he was like, "You guys have Trace. It's Trace Rios, right?" He asked for his own tequila. Yeah. What is a real? And then he got drunk rivers? on the cafe, and his, I just kept looking at how his face looked. No, look for wow. Trace Rios. I can't tell if that's really cool or really sad to get drunk on your own. Right, I'll tequila. tell you the, the tequila well, that I love the times. most. Yeah, but, sh but we do it like with it in the studio. Oh, like to you, to show up to a restaurant oh, alone yeah, and get no, drunk that's on weird. your own. That's is that Vince Neal's? That's weird. Yeah, dude. Try Partita. Partita. Partita is the, okay. that's the shit that I would like. You think Guy Fieri shows up to his restaurant and he's like, garbage nachos now. Yeah. <laughs> Need them. <laughs> Put them in the, any restaurant he eats at. Yeah. He should have a hot sauce holster. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Dude, or if he had it on his shoulder like holster belt. like a detective where he was like, <laughs> you guys want me, you guys want some awesome sauce? <laughs> yeah. Just like that thing of it. That yeah, would dude, be fun. Every fucking, every famous person has a tequila. Partia? Partita. Yeah, Partita. the Breaking Bad guys have a Partita tequila. Partita Reposado yep, yep. is the one that I... I mean, this is like Jesse, 12 years ago. Jesse that Pinkman good. and uh, Walter White have a tequila Oh, really? Together. Jeez. That's a good no. way to stay in touch, too. I should have I should have done... I'm going to do a, a rum for my dead father. Mm. I'm, that's my liquor. I'm okay. going to do a rum because that's what killed Gary. What are you running? What are you? Well, it's got to be. From? What are you rumming from? Sorry. That's I'm good. To, I'm to think of names. I like that. That'll probably be the tag. <laughs> yes, yes. You, what you, are you, you call it? Uh, hidden rum. Call, uh, I, I might call it. I might call it a uh, hidden rum's good or every other weekend rum. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good. Me. That's good. Partial. What, what can you call it? Uh, Panic rum. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> that's that's a negative. Or you could call it child support. Uh -huh. no, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get more into court lingo. Right, right. <laughs> You're not my real rum? Yeah. Okay. okay. Was yeah. That, a, that was a big reason you quit, right? No. What? No? What? what would you was that my dad was on Yeah. Call? No, I quit because I no loved doing comedy. Wrong. Yeah. And I just like was like, oh, I'm going to be one of those guys where if I drink... Like right now, I'll be, I would have been living in like Syracuse with a, a lady I got pregnant, right. drinking and being like Sam and Mark. <laughs> Thinking they're so fucking great. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. We were on. We used to do the same shows all the time. <laughs> you were a fun drunk. 
But you, you, were. Got, you got the weed. Yeah, that's what saved you my were, I, I that's smoked, the thing. I smoked a lot of weed. A lot of fun drunks don't quit. And you were a good, you were never bad vibes ever. It started getting like, I started getting a little chippy. Really? Yeah, I started getting a little chippy. And I was never like, around me. I mean, nah, nah, I, I just, never saw it. I'd just get chippy with people I didn't really like and it started mm. coming out. Mm. And then I was like, I should probably smoke weed. Wow. Because I was smoking weed already. Right. Because I started with weed, booze came in, and then booze came out. Well, I watch fist fights online probably too much, yeah. and it's all booze fueled. Yeah. There's not anybody at a library like, let's go. You I know? got some. I got some great Twitter follows for you. For oh, fights. please! Baked fights rules. Baked fights. Okay. Is, like that, a, is that high people fighting? No, it's just wild fucking fights. Uh-oh. It's just people making pie. B- yeah, it's on Twitter. It. Baked fights. I. Uh, it's, and Twitter, you know. There's no limits. No, no, no. Like Instagram, they edit. Yeah, yeah. They the porn on Twitter. I can. I can That's pretty off crazy. That's pretty crazy. If you have follow any porn things, and then you're just scrolling, yes. and, and you're like, whoa, yes. that lady's stuck in a baby's house. I know. And she's getting fucked <laughs> I know. right under Sam plugging his dates. I know. Right. Yeah, you look at it and you're like, this is too much for the grocery store. I don't yes. need this. I don't need this <laughs> in line. So clever. Oh, or shit. You're, you're on an airplane. And you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They'll hey. put some uh, some po- um, nudity in uh, airplane movies, by the way. They are? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of movies with Dude, nudity. I was flying to London to do shows at the Soho Theater, and I watched Jackass 3, mm. or Jackass Forever, and it was like the screen was so bright, and it's just Steve-O being like, I've got bees <laughs> on my nuts. And he's just like, his whole dick is covered, and he's like, oh, no. And there's just this old British lady sitting next to me being like, what do you want? To? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't stop my fucking cock. <laughs> I, I remember watching. Uh, oh, I remember they had Secretary on a flight once. I don't know if you ever Whoa. seen that movie. Oh yeah, it's a hot movie. It's James. Spader. The one about the horse? No, that's no, Secretary. Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, Sam's coming out. He's just a, spanking a horse. Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, is that hot? You look at all. Look at all that. Power. <laughs> look at that power. The lady next to you is like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he, he's, uh, you know, that scene where he's like, basically, she makes a mistake and he keeps circling the mistakes. He's like spanking her. Oh he's yeah. Bent over. He like jerks off on. Pretty her. hot. Wait, that's. The the movie did you guys see the army hammer documentary house of hammer on discovery nah, plus I can't, I can't. No, I haven't. that's the movie he would make every girl watch Whoa, oh, really? before he would start Jeez. like as he was it's a pretty con- good movie conditioning it's, good. it's maggie gyllenhaal right yeah she's great in it yeah dude that's, that's funny because Dahmer made you watch exorcist three Oh, Not three? even the good one. What? I make women watch Weekend of Bernie's too. Yeah. <laughs> I make them watch Comedian, the documentary. <laughs> and I go, doesn't Colin give good advice? <laughs> I just rewatched that. It's so funny. That, that was an old bit of mine that never worked. It was, uh, it was, <laughs> this never ever worked. It was like, you know, I always invite women back to watch a movie, and the, here's my here's my trick. I only have shitty movies. This yeah. is like before streamers. I'm like, Face Off or Weekend of Bernie's, which one? Yeah, that's good. Uh, and she's like, All right, I'll fuck you, fine. You know, <laughs> ironically, my- it's a Sophie's <laughs> choice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's like, I'll just fuck you to get out of these movies. Yeah, right. Netflix and chill. That was before Netflix and chill. Oh yeah, that was. It's weird. You have to say something to a woman. You can't just be like, let's go have sex. You, you have need. To, well, sometimes to, you can. Now you, some women, I think you could just say it to. But. I don't know. I've tried it. Blockbuster and bus. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, pretty good. That's not bad. All right, all right. <laughs> you look like you have a big brain with that hat yeah. on. Right now. Yeah, yeah. It look like you can the move wise, things man. with your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Damn these sounds. These sounds Dude. are. Yeah, it's just, right. it loses its luster, though. Just hit them early, just in case. Oh, oh there it is. Now it's warm. What up. else do we have? Give us another one. You gotta hit it hard. Oh, that's, I like that. that's a good one. That's the one up, dude. Let's yep. see if I can guess him. I'm gonna shut my eyes. I mean, we know that. All that's right, a right. classic. Um, I love theme that one. song. Oh, it's classic. Death. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Death. <laughs> that is how that's kids have to deal with death. Yeah. Is that be... through a tube? Uh, no, it says Mario. Uh, Oof. Fuck. Oof. Oh. We got hit. That's someone What else you got? That's oh. through a tube. That's my favorite. Yeah. Fuck, you're good. That's all a star? You got yeah. a star? Yeah. Oh, that was such a happy temporary. Gold coin, yeah. obviously. <laughs> death? No. Oh, it is death. All right, I'm switching to Super Mario Brothers. 
<laughs> that- I can hear the vagina's drying. Hey, stinky. <laughs> We're losing all over. Dude, it'd, be, you know, it'd be funny if it's just like super Italian-American views. who's like, the, the election was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> a Biden's a new method of president. Yeah, what? Ooh. This oh, that's is a good one. The queen? This, this is N64, I think. Oh, wow. Do you think Italians like Mario or hate? Like, love him. Really? You gotta love him. I know, he's, he's, a, he's a lovable. He's a lovable guy. He's very lovable. The he's... movie was terrible. Remember John Leguizamo, Dennis Hopper? Oh, oh, well, now they got the pure money grab for Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Pure. As Koopa? Now, yeah. They got a, now they got the new one coming out with Chris Pratt. And he, he just doesn't even it. do the Mario voice. Oh. He just goes like, hey, I'm Mario. Oh, that's yeah. appalling. Hey, I'm a plumber. <laughs> Ooh, I give him shit for that too. I think it would be funny if someone online tries to say that Mario Brothers is union propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> the plumbing. Uh, yeah, if you're like, you know, why did they get everyone. Sebastian to play him? He would have been like a perfect Mario. He's yeah. not. He's too handsome. No, but it's voiceover. Chris Pratt. Oh, it's animated. Yeah, it's I'm animated. I'm an idiot. Chris I thought Pratt? it was uh, yeah. a live Isn't action. A handsome guy. No, he's handsome, but I thought it was real. You know. Motion picture. Did you steal the prince? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that you do that, it yeah, might, might be too go. much. Mario. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is it. You got to do the voice. He is an epic. It's an epic what character. Is? Oh, yeah. yeah. You need a guy being like, SME. Yeah, but he's, he's Japanese, right? That's where it's made. I mean, Nintendo's Japanese. Yeah. So it's funny to think that it's it's Japanese people being racist towards Italians. That's what I'm saying. What a fun workout. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. The, like, the Italian-American Defamation I, League. I made character Italian <laughs> plumber. <laughs> like, that's, like that, that's like their, that's like what they tell their it's children. There's so many levels of racism. Yeah. Oh, right it's now. a sandwich, dude. Yeah, right. Good luck. Come find me in this <laughs> casserole. But I, I think he's so likable. And the sound effects, you can't hate him. You can't, yeah. you can't find racism in it. I just love the idea that that's what Japanese parents told their kids they would be if they didn't do well. Uh, you will be a Japanese, pr- <laughs> you will be Italian primer. Uh, <laughs> I will not, father. Yeah. I will do better. Well, that's why there's a dragon in it, because that's where the Japan comes in. You know? <laughs> like, we got to put something Japanese yeah. in this. Yeah. Lizards that eat coins right. and fucking dragons. Uh, <laughs> well, it, is, it is like you want, certain, some of the sh- old video game shit, you're like, yeah, this is, if you're a dad our age and you take your kid you're at least like all right well this is my childhood you this know? is yeah. my shit but that's yeah. what's weird now is so much shit is made for when we were kids i know that we're like forcing kids remember how we used to make our parents watch us play video games yep we're like watch me play this and they're like i don't i don't get dude i lived in the 60s right yeah. and then now we do that but with our kids yeah we're like hey watch it then they're like all ah, right i kind of like, want to the play. amount of technology now is like it's insane like because now if it just doesn't work immediately i'm like what the fuck what the fuck that's how dependent yeah. you are on right, it. right dude that louis bit that's aged. the oh, classic oh, bit the, the, the so wi-fi good. yeah give it a second yeah oh, i was yeah. i was in the space. uh i was in the deli the other day and i'm like I'm so used to just, you're just used to it working. So when it doesn't work, you don't even think. So I put my, I was listening to an audio book on movies in like the 60s and I put my headset in and it doesn't connect. I didn't even realize it didn't connect. And I shit you not, the part it doesn't connect for is some editor for Sam Peckinpah uh, and uh, and Robert Altman movies. And he goes, you know what the difference between Peckinpah and uh, Robert Altman is? Peckinpah is a prick and <laughs> Robert Altman's a cunt. Wow. <laughs> I just had people in the store hear that line. Really? That's, yeah. that's fucking hilarious. Wow. But it was a fun, it was I was like, this is the perfect line. Yeah. Just one guy signing it. No one paid it. attention. No one like gives a shit. One guy sure. signing it and doesn't look up. He goes, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick it, bro. <laughs> that was a grip on the wild bunch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. It's like uh, if it doesn't, if my internet doesn't work on my phone, I get like huffy. I get crazy. Of and course. it's gotten worse. Of yeah. course. Yeah, you expect it. It's weird. Somebody, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson had a great point. He was watching a horror movie with his kid. His kid's like five. And, you know, he's running from the monster, gets in the car, and it doesn't start. And he's like, Dad, why didn't the car start? And he's like, oh, cars used to not start sometimes. Oh, now you yeah. just get in like a Prius, and it just boop, boop. Yeah, connecting. Yeah, so we're just so used to things working perfectly. It's crazy how quickly technology goes to where you'll see, you'll be watching a sh- uh, like a movie or a show from four years ago and you're like, that's like an old iPhone. What the fuck yeah. is that? Oh, yeah. Even the way the cameras are, Jay brought it up on the bonfire recently. He's like, you look at sports highlights from like 1994. Oh, and you're like, my God. They had shitty cameras. So grainy. I, I remember the first HD camera or the first HD TV I saw was at college. This rich kid had one. Mm. And I walked in, he was watching Sports Center. I was like, Jesus, this is fucking crazy looking. It will fuck us though. Because like, it looks great now, 
but it's going to keep going and you're going to be like, you're going to be on TV doing a set and you're like, look at that fucking scar from 1988. Look at that mole. You'll be able to see everything. Every yeah. yellowness of your yeah. tooth. I don't know. The makeup will keep getting better too. Oh, uh, that's a good point. True. I don't know. That is true, but it'll be crazy to what, when we watch our old sets. And we're oh. Like, look how grainy and It's kind of cool that we have them though, that we have sets that's from true. before shit looked really good. I got tapes. I have yeah. VHS. Oh, I mean, God, I have a mini DVD. Do you wow. think it, Do you think it's harder for kids of this generation to watch like a movie from the 60s? Oh, yeah. I think it was hard in the way that or it was hard 80s. for us to watch stuff from the 70s. But right? I love I think, that shit. I love those. Yeah, Mark and I are obsessed. So maybe they are. The movies. Maybe they will yeah. be. Maybe they'll love shit because the 90s are coming back around again now. That's true. But the Everyone's difference is like it. when we watched, you know, Raging Bull or whatever the hell from the 70s, you didn't have eight million zillion things coming at you that day yeah. from the from the present. You know, like new movies came out, but it wasn't like this onslaught. Well, people, I think people want to watch good shit less because they yes. just want to go home and space out. They're like, I'll, I'll throw something on and I'll scroll TikTok while yeah. I watch. Oh, so you don't want to watch something that's like real. If you want to watch something well made, you really have to just shut off. And people don't want to and shut focus. Off. Yeah, you got to focus. Yeah. Focusing's. It, shut off everything, I mean, not shut yeah, yourself but, uh, off. Shut yourself, kill yourself. And then it'll, <laughs> but, it, <laughs> <laughs> but it will be like it. Jesus Christ, man. That's you ran out of continues. Oh, nice um, pull. I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Somebody had no father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone was raised by video games. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is, it's so hard to turn. Every, when you turn everything off now, you feel like a Tibetan monk. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at me disconnected. I know. And then My phone's to... in the other room. I'm like, God, I'm so present. And you have to let everybody know. You have to go back online and go, look at me. I turned you know, I better tweet, I better tweet that I'm yeah. not going to be near yeah. my phone. Oh, I watch a foreign film now. I feel like I just did three years in a fucking monastery or something. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Like, I'm so intelligent. Reading a book. Yeah. Reading an actual book, like yeah. a paper book. It's, I do it before bed, and it fucking is great. It they helps say sleep. Because you can't, it helps. you can't, I can't fall asleep. Sometimes I'll watch a funny show before bed to watch something light, but like, if you read a book before bed, you just, it's so much easier to sleep. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Or if I watch a show, I do blue light glasses, because we sound really? so fucking old. I yeah, know. we do. so sad. We yeah, just lost everyone in their <laughs> toilets. <laughs> your beads. I have a heating pad on my I'm gonna bag. I'm going to tell you what I love. My prescribed nasal spray. Yeah. Oh, that helps me sleep better. You know what I'm in? My rec for the week. Me, sleep apnea. <laughs> I look at everybody. My rack is uh, prunes. Oh. I'm a big prune guy. You know, for dude. me, Viagra. Yeah. I love getting old, dude. You guys like Belvita cookies? Oh, oh so much. <laughs> cookies with nothing else. Yeah. Just well baked. Oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> my grandparents would, would eat snack wells. Oh, that was the yeah. greatest. Dude, they were mom, trying to stay fit and they yep. couldn't give up dessert. That was I, big. I took down snack wells. I, my mom was always dieting, so I always had Weight Watchers or Snack Wells snacks. They were worse for you, by the way. Were they really? They were way more I mean, sugar. They just had like less shit. calories. I would have uh, Weight Watchers fudge sickles. Ooh, that Fucking sounds nice. They were good. Yeah, yeah. that sounds like I mean, look, it's not horrible, but it, was, it yeah. wasn't. It, it, you have an Oreo after one of those, and you're like, this is dog shit. I know. Yeah. I know. It's like heroin. You, 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 back to the reading thing. There was literally a Instagram page called Hot Guys Reading, and they'd show a guy on the subway reading a book. That's how, like, rare it is. And it's like, ooh, look at this hunk. Yeah. He's yeah. smart. He can read. Dude, Hot Guys Reading. Let's check out Hot Guys Reading. I don't now. know if it's still around, but it it's was got to be. A page. Girls just flicking their bean to thoughtful dudes. There and it dudes is. Jerk, you know? <laughs> It'd be great if they're just reading dumb shit, too. Yeah. He's like, just he's a book. He's like, like R.L. Stein. <laughs> what the hell? He's reading the pickup artist? Right. Right. <laughs> also it shows you... the difference between men and women. You know, we're like, let's look at these hot chicks flicking their, their assholes with, yeah. with shit. And they're like, hey, look at these guys with books. Let's that is see. hilarious. Oh, it is. It's just, just hunks reading. Yeah. 2000. Wow. Wow. This is insane. That's how rare it is to read. Also, you get really nervous that you're going to click on a picture and like see your girlfriend being like, How do you feel oh, about people God. just taking photos of strangers on the train? I do it's think weird. It's, it's pretty weird. People have gotten too comfortable with it. Taking one of you? No, just anyone just taking photos of strangers on the train. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a weird move. It is weird. You can't get caught, that's for sure. Oh, you've gotten caught taking a picture of somebody? I have. Oh, yeah. But, uh, really? It's what are you going to do with that? What, what's that? What do you wait, wait, take, Delete that. I'm like, or, okay. Or you just like, the way you acted off, or you go, oh, it's uh, yes, phones. Yes. Or you like, <laughs> could you try to shoot it down here? And then Dude, I'm sorry. Down. I was going to say you looked like uh, skinny Mario Batali. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to make my girlfriend like wet, so I had to take this picture. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> 
Ooh, well, by the way, pull out that uh, candy racket, oh, will you? Let me let me get a potato chip first. Let oh, please. Oh! Oh, what a, oh! What the hell? What a spooky oh. surprise. No! Oh, we have Betty White's body. <laughs> oh, man. Luckily, I'm a necrophiliac. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a victimless crime. Oh, it is. It's really just, you know. It's no calories. This cap is hurting my head. All right, so we're ranking some candies. Is that All what we're right. doing? What, what are we starting with? You right, this is right here. Oh, oh, in the bag. Yeah. Dude, you guys are coming to a. Hand me a, a Reese's just so I can eat it. You guys are coming to the right guy. All right. So, so we have to guess and then move oh, on. Oh, give me that one. Because take five, what you're holding in your right hand. That's Go ahead and put it at number one. No. I don't even need to no, see what this is. This the, is going to be my committee. So we do amazing. have uh, take five. five. So good. If Koopa and fucking <laughs> Yoshi can agree, <laughs> we are two different types of dragons. He's he's Sunni dragon. I'm Shiite. Easy, Matt. What are you, Ray Rice? Woo! Big cup. Dude, big cup. Okay. Tell something about a three musketeer. I'm going to tell I'm, you something. I'm already putting this. Should last. Yeah. Thank you. Good my get rid of can, it. My get shitty bent. half uncle likes that. So. <laughs> you have to try this. <laughs> Throw it shit. out the window. I'm gonna tell you right now. Three Musketeers. Here's what you want to do. Uh oh. It's like feeling for avocados. When you go to a Ooh. when you go to a gas station and you feel a Three Musketeer, <laughs> give it a little push. That is make the most sure. hot-headed thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> make sure it, make sure it dents a little bit. <laughs> and then you got yourself a good three musketeer. Right. Good call. I'm, good call. I'm taking this one home. That's a soft one. Right, hold on. Let me, <laughs> how do you guys feel about 100 grand? Love 100 no, grand. Very, not very a top under, five. Underrated, I would say. Not a top five. I think Snickers is up there good. in the top three. Ta ta it's a top five for sure. I know it's uh, there's a, 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 a bar called Top Five, isn't there? Really? Take five. Uh, take five. Sorry. Take five. This top is five All right. Take five is excellent. Five. Take five is in the top five. I would go ahead and put it first. But All right, well, it's, we'll, we'll vote on this. But what it, is it, a take five? Payday? Well, I don't even know why this is, is here. Take five every candy bar you can imagine in one no glorious way. bar. It's a hermaphrodite. Yeah. It has, like, it's got both, dude. You can suck, <laughs> fuck. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Payday. Oh, I do. Payday is the candy bar that is left last in a vending machine. Yeah. I, I'm a big Twix guy, dude. Love Twix. Twix to me is... Easily top five. Oh, now we gotta get into it. Sour Patch. Kids. Oh, they're classics. And I'm gonna say this so it's permanently on oh, record. Uh oh. I had an ex-girlfriend teach me uh -oh. that if you take Sour Patch Kids and dump it into popcorn at the movies, yeah. it's delicious. Since then, Louis J. Gomez has said that it's his that he created. It's not. I can give you the woman's name, address, and phone number. Mm. And she was the one that told me back in 2015. That's an amazing discovery. It, it's so good if you just dump Sour Patch Kids in popcorn and mix it up. I do chocolate in there, but I've never done the Sour Patch Kids. Dude, yeah, Sour that's Patch too Kids. much. That's like a speedball. I can't handle that. You, you'll love it. I don't really? know. Really? I did it during Top this Gun. This sounds like Maybe some Soko guy shit. <laughs> Listen, this is follow like, me. This is like in a recovery meeting. You're like, sometimes when I want to get a fix. You guys brought me in, right? You brought me in <laughs> for the candy episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blah, blah. All right. Blah, blah. Yeah. Twix is a fucking, just so it's, I mean, that's a tough. Love Twix. Love um, Snickers. Mm-hmm. Damn, I don't want to disrespect uh, These are the Kit ones Kat. we're ranking, right? Kit Kat's garbage. It's not garbage. I don't want your garbage, but it's not great. I mean, first off, 100 grand, you forget these things. They're bangers. Oh, we're going to get You get a good one in baby. the middle. We're going to lose a foot on this app. Mm. Unbelievable. Hey, hey, folks, We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Diet Smoke. We're going to take a break and tell you guys about Diet Smoke. It is the solution to avoid the, oh, shit, I'm way too high moments. Been there. Diet Smoke makes Delta 8, THC, Delta 9, THC, and CBD products that are perfectly balanced. The gummies, drinks, vapes are delicious. They're guaranteed to give you a beautiful buzz you've been looking for without melting into your couch. The exact, they extract the THC and CBD from American-grown hemp and ship directly to your door. No prescription, no sketchy weed dealer, no need to leave the house. Diet Smoke just released a bunch of new products and flavors. No matter what type of mood you're in, they got you covered. If you're ready for that perfect high, head over to dietsmoke.com. Use code DRUNK for 20% off your entire purchase. Must be 21 and, on to order, and older to order. Now back to the show. Love you, Diet Smoke. Hell yeah. Summer is starting to wind down, and I am busier than ever. That's why I'm saving, for, saving time with Factor. Factor is ready-to-eat meals. 
delivered to your house. They make it easy to stay on top of your schedule while still sticking to your goals. With Factor, a quick lunch or a fully prepared dinner is just two minutes away. These heat and eat meals are a lifesaver when you have no free time. Factor's new Protein Plus preference makes it easy to power up with deliciously satisfying meals and at least 30 grams of protein per serving. Factor offers 30 meals a week. Change your order up every week. Choose four to 18 per week. Pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. These chef-crafted recipes are packed with restaurant-quality flavor, and everything is dietitian approved Wow. Stop spending your precious hours at the store and in the kitchen. Let Factor deliver ready-made meals right to your door. Each Factor meal arrives prepared, pre-prepared by their team of chefs. They are ready to heat and eat in two minutes. They offer vegan, veggie, protein, plus keto and calorie smart options, plus cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more. I had these; they're great. I love those smoothies. Love them. They're, they're killer. Go dot factor seventy five dot com slash drunk one thirty. Use drunk one thirty to get a hundred and thirty five bucks off six boxes. That's code drunk one thirty at go dot factor seventy five dot com. All right. I hope I got that right. Yeah, it's go dot factor seventy five dot com slash drunk one thirty. Thank you. I don't like Twix. I know I'm. A, I know I'm in the minority. What? I don't, I don't like them. What? I don't like the crunchy wafery the bullshit. Cookie? You don't like crunch? No. It's crunch with caramel and chocolate. I hate hard food. I put Twix. Hundred grand is good, but you got to put Twix ahead. Give of me that hundred grand. I, I took a bite. You got to go the other I'm end. I'm fine with it. These, right. This is very underrated. This right here. Peanut M and M's could sneak into the top three. It's what? That, I, it's I, that I could good. see it too. It's Easy. that good. Yeah. Top three. Peanut yeah. M and M's is a fucking classic, and I like that you can keep picking at it. I like that. Mm. Let me get they it. go hard. They go hard in the paint. We'll have a peanut M and M. All right. All right. Right now. Are we all more chocolate than gummy? Yeah. I mean, I love Swedish fish. You want to get into it? Swedish fish oh. fucking rule. Over sour patch. Ooh. No way. But then you're also stuck picking them sh- them out of your teeth for the next few True. hours. True. Yeah. If you got a Very lot of annoying. fillings, you're yeah. fucked with yeah. Swedish fish. Don't pull that Sour shit Patch out. Kids are... Here's the deal. Sour Patch Kids, Swedish fish are heroin. These are fucking... Dude, these are classics. I mean, you can't go wrong with a peanut m M&M. m This is heroin. Swedish fish is heroin. Gets sticky. Sometimes it's hard to use. Mm. Really in a pinch. Sour Patch Kids, fentanyl. <laughs> it's just a little bit harmless. But it's hot packing. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of sugar. You're gonna get fucking nuts on this. Oh, dude, dude, Keep those away from these Quigley. Are better than the classics. <laughs> the watermelon sour uh, patch kids. Oh yeah. Uh, sure. yeah. This is this is that Chinese fentanyl. Dude, yeah. Your boys about to get the shit that they'll reship you. I got you to say. I don't fuck you, with you the sour patch. That's not for me. Your boys about to get some fucking diarrhea from. Oh this yeah. Thing. You ready? I can't wait to take unnecessary. Yeah, dude, hit me with one. Hold up. I got Shoot you. it up, dude. You Come on. Sugar all over your uh, keys. <laughs> ready? Er, er, er. Oh! I'm not, I'm not. I gotta make I the got Yoshi it. noise. I'm not. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Hold on. Let me see if I can do. Oh. Oh. Let me see if I can it's do like a full Steph costume. Curry. Come on, man. That was close. That was an inch. An inch away. Okay, right now we got it again. We're going two for three. Oh! Hit it out! Oh. Come on, Yoshi! Wow, if that would have gone in, I would have blown all of you. <laughs> these are fucking phenomenal. Alright, well we yeah. gotta we gotta we gotta these try. Are, these might be ahead. Watermelon might be ahead of regular. Get him away from me. I'm just gonna start it off. Alright, I'll try. Get him let's, away let's, from let's me. Gonna kick this off. <laughs> Ooh, you my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're gonna start with this. Payday. This is all not yeah, horrible. It's not, even not, on, not even on the list. Yeah, well, I don't think because we're going to start like this. And we're going to get for nuts. a direct deposit. Take five. Got to show Starburst respect. Absolutely. Wow, take five. Put, good, put take five that's at one. Dude. Take, this, is, this is heroin or fentanyl. Yeah, or that's fentanyl. fucking good, dude. That's fentanyl. I'm telling you, in popcorn. Don't listen to Luis J. Gomez. All right. Those. He's killed that woman. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but dude, you gave us so many options here. So the Reese's Big Cup? Are we are we doing the Big Cup or just regular Reese's? Just regular. I think Reese's. we got to go regular because now we're getting just regular semantics. Reese's pieces. Here's the it's here's the bag. stoner secret. You freeze them. Yeah. Whoa. No, no, no. no, no. Frozen candy out there. Period. Charleston shoes in the mix though. 
I'm Here peaking, by the way. I'm, I'm twitching out. I'm, I'm not I'm, well. I'm like Michael not, Jang I'm over not here. Doing well, Dude, yeah. I, I, I live off sugar. Really? You I look love, good. Oh, no, it's, with the shirt off, it's a mess. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You look a 50s movie star. Yeah. You look great clothes. Uh, oh, my God. Michael Caine. I'm just a bowl of pudding. <laughs> pull up Michael Caine and Alfie. Yeah, you're pull up, shit yourself. And pull up, and after that, pull up Jimmy Stewart rear window shirtless. You're like, oh. this is the fucking leading man. <laughs> this is before Ty Bo, for sure. Oh, my God, dude. Michael, Michael Kane. Kane. I've got the sloppiest body. I love you. Yeah. You've never seen. <laughs> Remember Hannah and her sisters? Yeah. That poem made me think of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is young Michael Kane getting shot. Oh, yeah. This is when he's supposed to be. He's a sex symbol. Have you seen his wife? No. She's hot. Yeah. Still? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's a hot, oh, really? hot woman. Yeah. She's like, is she like Egyptian or. What? That's why. Whitey doesn't age. Jimmy Stewart. Rear I need a shirtless, window. shirtless. I mean, you can probably just get a picture too. You know? Yeah, yeah. You go on, you on YouTube. That's no good. You got to go Goog. All right, um, all right. What, all right. what are we so, missing? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna tell you. Kit, good, Kit, Kit, Kit Kat's pretty good. Fuck off. Yeah, they're probably not. All right, all right. Fuck off, dude. Too salty. You got to show some Reese's respect is to Reese's. in top five. I yeah, agree. It's gotta Agreed. Be. Let's so, put it at five. Ah, is that too high? Just to start. No, I like Just it higher. But well, we got to We can move. Okay. It's Velcro. All right, I'll tell you what. Four. Let's put it, put four. it at four. Put Kit Kat at five because I think everyone besides Norman will. Agree. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have he it. Doesn't like Kit Kat, but, but we can all agree. I need Snickers in top three. Yeah, I can, top, I can do that. Let's okay. do Snickers at two. See, we're making trades here. Going out the top five too quicker, guys. You think go over the bottom like a gay? See, I don't even see a Snickers here. It's right there, right in front of you. Right up on top of the Sour Patch Kids. Oh, there you go. At three? Your vision's ah, two. blurry. Put it at two. Cause it's it looks, a, such a classic. It's a classic. You can't go wrong and with it. It's got everything in it. Snicker, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I say a hundred. I say a hundred grand. M and M's. Oh. I I put them at three for put now. Put them at five. Put them at three. Get Kit Kat out of here. I'm, I want to bump Kit Kat out. All right. Whoa. Bump Kit Kat down to six. Yeah. Norm, Norman's passionate about it. Now we're talking. Thank you. Where you been my whole life? All right. All right. John Candy. How about, that's how about clever. Starburst, dude? Uh, oh, you know what? I'd say put Starburst at one. And oh, I'm what are you, crazy? <laughs> I love Starburst. Wait, can I follow up with that? What flavor? All what color? All no, I'm saying, but it's everybody, original. everybody has their specific. Now, 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 the now you're breaking down Christianity. The whole shabam. <laughs> now you're getting into. Now I, you're I getting can't into... do artificial cherry flavor. I don't know why, but the reds are. Oh, cherries like my Reds favorite, are great. Dude. I just reds say you're holding. You're throwing the whole pack up there. That's what I mean. I don't yeah, care yeah, if you're yeah, orange, yeah, yeah. yellow, or pink, or a red. This is all Christian. Pass it out. Yeah. Too much sugar. Get it. You know how much sugar is in alcohol, though. Oh really? When I quit drinking, I'll. I didn't drink for a month. I mean, obviously, lost 40 pounds. Wow. Because I was really? drinking whiskey and beer. Wow. Whiskey? You think whiskey's just, no, you know, it's all sugar. Cowboy oh, water. Well, this uh, your beloved take five. I don't know where that goes. I goes number one. It's I the best whoa. candy bar. What about no. Twix? I'm going to have to back that up. You don't like Twix. Twix back in five. You would back that up. Absolutely. Back and, it up. And, and take five is so underrated, too. Like, nobody gets it for some reason. It would reason. be a sleeper upset. Okay, how about, I mean, where do we put the, the watermelon Sour Patch Kids has got to yeah. eclipse the Kit Kat. Yes. Suck my dick, Kit Kat. The Kit Kat just keeps getting pushed to Well, you know what, Kit Kat? Give me a break. They make Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> You've been around forever. They, Sour Patch Kids is sick. They make Kit Kats out of old Starburst? <laughs> they do. People are going to be furious. Yeah, yeah. Look People are going to be furious about this Starburst dish. Well, you know what, Starburst? Oh, you had enough. No. You had jelly beans. You had your gummies. You've been out here fucking around on us. Good point. So you get seven. Really? Now, is that? We is might. That a, we might Peter, so we're going to need a producer way in Let here. me what, throw this out. Let me throw this at you. Take. That's rough. I think that's a tough I, I agree with him. But we're, we're men. You guys All are right. children. All right. Now, <laughs> now, let me say this, though. Reese's has two things in the top four. Because they're just good can, at business, baby. We if we had pieces, one. I would toss them on there, too. Really? I love Reese's pieces. I'm just saying I'm willing to move Reese's you because you most, have a number one already. Do you know what's the most fat shit stoner thing that I do? that I used to do when I exercised regularly before the pandemic. Mm. I'd get a pint of Talenti, double double dark chocolate. Oh, that's the good stuff. And then I would have a bag of Reese's Pieces. And then oh. as I ate into the Talenti, All I would right. toss some Reese's Pieces. I gotta pieces. get out of that here. That sounds fucking good. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds good. Man. Can't do it anymore. 
Talenti wow. is. I don't fucking, work out. That's some high end bodega shit. Yes, yep. it really that's, is. Everything else is like whatever, and then you get to the Talenti, and you're like, dude. Shout out seafood in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be what eight dollars for that pint. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for ice cream. Wow. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, dude. Holy shit. That good shit though, dude. It's that good shit. It's that gelato. Gelato is fucking nice. It is. It is. It's it's ice cream with a college degree. Uh Aha! If you get ice cream out of a fucking paper thing, that's a GED. And then if it's got a top, that's a high school diploma. Right. And then if it's glass and you can turn it off, dude, that's... That thing went to Ivy League. Yeah, I used to do. I used to do a bit about biscotti. That's like the other chips ahoy is regular cookie and biscotti. <laughs> thing. I studied abroad. <laughs> um, Same with panini. You yeah. get a sub, sub like a like a you know construction guy. Yeah, panini's panini. like I'm bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned I'm bisexual in Rome. Right, yeah, right, yeah, all right. Something about the smush sandwich though, all hot. It's oh, fucking, oh, it's like a pussy. Uh, it's like yeah. a face smashed into a couch. It's great. <laughs> Yay! We all got boners. <laughs> that was the boner sound. <laughs> huh? Okay, I mean, I think, yeah, I agree that payday and good and plenty don't even... Get out of here, good, good I'm not, day. I'm not high on Swedish fish either. Yeah, I didn't fight in Vietnam. Get out of here, good and plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't travel up the, the Nang River. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Can we get some CCR playing and sodas <laughs> yeah. trash? Yeah, Nixon ate good and plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, they call you a baby killer you eat good and plenty. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> <Huggy> now. <laughs> yeah. Diddy Bow, Diddy. It's like, I don't even like it. It's licorice covered in candy. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, there you go. All right. Okay. All right. Where are we at? We're doing right. pretty good. We're doing, we're moving. I'm going to say Three Musketeers. Over, over. I, I don't, I think Kit Kat's ahead of Three Musketeers. <laughs> three is that mus- crazy? Look, three, Musketeer is, three Musketeers is, here it is. When it's soft, it's great. Unlike yeah. a dick. It's the opposite <laughs> yeah. of a dick. Yeah, you want a soft Three Musketeers. Got it. That's better than a hundred. Reese's cup. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. You want a hard, you Throbbing. slut. Yeah. <laughs> Veiny. <laughs> You're such a... That Snickers vein, that made the round. And I'm, a... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a size queen, so give me a big uh... <laughs> You like big tits. I like... Or also, have you seen the ones where they shove the Reese's Pieces into it? The DP of candy. Oh, no. Where they put Reese's Pieces into... Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Oh, what is that, Mr. Marcus? (laughs) Is this disrespectful to put 100 grand at 10, though? Yes. No, it's not. I say put it at 10. Is Kit Kat 10? Well, here's the thing. Let's put them up on the board, and then we'll move them around. All right. But Three Musketeers at 8, I feel like. Is a solid move. So does our guest. We got to honor our guest. But But uh, we can move it around. Are you hearing this, moms? When your kids are trick-or-treating... Hook them up. This is the list. Yeah. The old, that candy the old skanks. Just, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, this is, is this, what do you think of this list? I think Kit Kat, here's the thing about Norman swayed my vote on Kit Kat. All right. He really made me see that it's kind of a shit candy. I don't think it is. Not, there's wafers. Let's it's have cheap, this conversation. Cheap shit. I love wafers though. Yeah. A good vanilla a, chocolate oh, wafer. If you airy? Get, like, the real wafer shit. If it's yeah. airy. Airy. Harry oh. Spears. It's making little kids oil their feet or whatever. It is. I, li- I like a dessert that can do a DMX impression. <laughs> I like I like a, yeah. I love a candy that does ninety minutes on a Wednesday. <laughs> just, the comedy club staff hates them. No kids going to his house on Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Or he's got the best candy. Oh yeah. He's got Godiva. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Tells joke? Uh, Very Rocher. <laughs> Holy shit. Halloween. Is the Super Bowl for pedophiles? Oh, yeah. Oh. That is the tell us. Yeah. Dude, Swedish Fish didn't make the cut, and I'm okay with that. I think it's overrated. Good and Plenty is, is, it doesn't even belong Good here. and Plenty's. Tuh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Good and Plenty's. That's like. Uh, you give it to prisoners. That's like college loans. Right. It's, like, it's a candy that our parents' generation gave us that's just b- a burden. Right. It's... Thanks, Boomer. <laughs> yeah, it's bo- that's Boomer let's fuel. Let's all try one just to see. How <laughs> yeah. I'm... Let's have some. All right, all right. Let's have some Boomer fuel. Boomer sounds like a candy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it looks better than good and plenty. Yeah. It looks like medicine. You know it, 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 looks... it probably was. It tastes like medicine. It's liquor. It's bl- isn't it black liquor? You know what? It's actually oh, not. Oh, that's, that's too many. Get Sorry. I actually don't hate it. <laughs> it's uh, a weapon at this it point. It really does. It really does look like I it's not it horrible with my good and plenty. But it's bad <laughs> liquid. With my good and plenty, my penis works all the time. <laughs> give me in. one. Give me one. How do we not get Twizzlers on here? Those are classics. Ew. Ew. It's better than I thought it would be, but it's not. It's not on the list. Dude, I hate disgusting. I like it. Yeah, it feels like I'm chewing road tar. 
The Scandinavians love fucking black licorice. Wow. Do they? Oh, they have no soul. They love licorice. <laughs> they're dead inside. <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, it is so cold up here that we must eat the licorice. Yeah, you've been to Ikea? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's my only issue now. Starburst has a whole bunch of flavors. We're going one one flavor Inter here. But I Sour Patch, I think, represents the brand. All right. Interesting. I, What's I the get bonus with it. round over there? We do have a bonus slot. All right. Swedish fish would fit nicely. Is that just like honorable mention? <laughs> yeah, we got to give them some love, I guess. All right. All right I'm, I'm fine with that. I, you know, that's the I agree with that. Now, See? here, we can talk about this top five. Twix okay. ain't going to break the top four because Norman's not on board. Sorry. That's, but, no, no, I, I and that's fine. Five. It's by five. committee. It's by committee. Committee. That's fine. That's fine. I would say I like the way this looks. I think this is a good oh, This is ten. a classic. I mean, you have to give credit. Here's my only issue with Take 5. These two have stood the test of time. You sure they right. have. But you know what? It's 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 about reinvention. It's about ah. adding. It's about Reese's was like, I, I got new stuff. Right. Look sure, you love the classic hour, but you want to see him do good new stuff. So what you're saying Why is it tell the best comedian of all time? Lenny Bruce, he George Carlin. He pumping out good keeps new right. stuff. Yeah. This yeah. is Madonna. Yeah. Reinventing. Twix Although. is, yeah, Twix is kind of like... Uh, Twix showed up and everyone was like, no one's going to top this. Yeah, and it got lazy. It got coasted. La tried doing cookies and cream. Get the oh. Well, have you done the Hershey's cookies and cream, though? Oh, that one's awesome. That's a All fucking right. banger. Also, we don't have, like, Crunch and Hershey's bars. Hershey's a lot of should be on it. That's a classic. Tip. And I would also say... I'm back on classic M and M's recently. They're good. They're very good. Yeah, they they. they have you helped. had the peanut? Have you had the peanut butter ones? Oh, I love Phenomenal. it. Anything peanut butter, I'm on board with. Wow. I'll tell you what's underrated is a fucking. You ever have a crackle? Oh, oh I love a crackle. Crackle's great. The I, bag of those, those little ones. Those oh, bags, that, I love that, that bag. With love the good a Mrs. Good Bar. Good Bar. Yeah, that's that's it. the elite. Halloween candy. Yes. You get a bag of that mix yes. with the Mr. Good Bar and yes. the Hershey bars. The variety. So the, look, he left. He got so mad at us. <laughs> Did we just lose right Salicuse? Oh, yeah. Sorry, dude. Got a photo shoot. Have fun. Oh, have fun. hey, have fun with Johnny I hope it's Depp. tasteful Johnny nudes. Depp photo oh. shoot. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait, it's with Depp? Yeah. yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. He's in New York? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's uh, he's doing the trial. This retrialing. <laughs> Oh. No, it's tell him to come on the bonfire. <laughs> talked about him for. <laughs> tell him to come on the bonfire. Is he? Yeah. Would he, he come on? We might be drunk. I'm gonna tell him about it. I'm, I'm coming directly from. We might be. Drunk. Ooh. But also, also let him know that we had a podcast during the pandemic called Sixth and Jump, where we rewatched Twenty One oh. Jump Street. That's a great idea. But I would open with We Might Be Drunk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. but just let him know. But just let him know that the bonfire is. <laughs> it's available on Sirius XM Channel yeah. One Hundred Three Monday through Friday. And We Might Be Drunk is available everywhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just your option. Dude, Johnny, dude, tell him to have a spot of purple and just relax. Uh, also, quote anything by Hunter S. Thompson and he'll love you. Oh, dude. Also, call him the good doctor. What does that mean? You like that? He just called him the good doctor. Tell him I think the Rum Diaries was his best work. It sucked. <laughs> and it was an incomplete Hunter S. Thompson novel. Uh, oh, they, repu they published it after he died. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, all right. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Dad. God, dude. This is going to break the internet. This is going to be like Kanye and Tucker Carlson talking. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be like Kanye and that. Pete. Yeah. All candy bars matter. Yeah. Yes. Now, can we get a, a year? What, what what year is Snickers established? Or even M&M or Reese's? You know what M&M, how M&M got yeah. made? They put them a little bit in them for because the candy shell they could last longer, so yeah. they give them to the troops. Oh, so they put them in their uh, lunch. So they're pails. patriotic. That does. Uh -huh. yeah. it is, those, that really is freedom. 30. 30. That's almost a hundred years still going. How long? How, okay, how long? It's ninety. M &Ms? It's ninety. I bet M and M's is longer. Two. Ninety-two years. Yes, yes. I just see how long it took me to do that, man. Yeah, I get it. I am dumb. Original M and M's forty-one. Forty-one. Okay, so wrong. Snickers right now. Wow. How about a how about a, a Hershey bar? That's got to be the longest. That's right? got to be that's all American right there, Pennsylvania baby. 1894. That should be on the list. Do you think? Out of respect, we should add a Hershey. Honorable yeah, but mention. you know what though? That's like watching Lenny Bruce. Ah. They're like, I know it did a lot for us. <laughs> that's when I go good. back. But there needs to be a foundational piece. Yes, yes. I would probably Snickers. go bonus is Hershey bars. I now here's my question. Clark Bar was. 150 mm. years. 1761 Holy was a Clark Bar. Reggie Jackson was the face of Clark Bar. Really? Yeah. Really? Yankees, wow, baby. They used to I hate think, black. Um, <laughs> Obviously. I think, how, when was Reese's, Pe when was Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Because I, I wonder if it's going to be older than we expect or younger than It's going to be later. I'm thinking it's like 70s? 60s, 70s. Oh, God. 1920! Oh, I was way off! Woo, 
it's older than Snickers. Wow, it beats Snick. That's I mean, big. that's that almost it's big. Uh, that is. We huge. can't have we can't have Reese's in the top two. Reese was a former employee of Hershey, and he broke away. Damn, uh, wow. you gotta love that. Then now there's friction between. You know, the Hershey's. I love it. Are, oh, man, look Is at this. Is there a good book on the candy bar wars? There's got to be. Oh, we're about to write one. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to sit around eating candy, getting fat, and then write a. Yeah. It's like a entourage. Yeah, I think candy Lizzo freak. wrote it. All right. Well, I think we got a hot list here. That's pretty good. Candy did freak. Did we lose? Did we miss anything else? I mean, Apple? listen, we can get into it because, as I've told you, there's high chews, which I love high chews. Oh, I don't know like high chew. Japanese starbursts. I would expect much. you to say that dress is Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> is Skittles even in the running? Oh, I love Skittles. All right. I would put Skittles in my top five. I wow. Fucking, I fucking. How about sour Skittles? Yeah, it's all Skittle. <laughs> what about Jolly Ranch? Nah. Those, those are a little weak. Nah, little weak. those were better okay. when you were a kid because you could hide candy. It was for uh, hiding in class. Green apple and watermelon. Watermelon would dub though. That's watermelon, very, watermelon Jolly Rancher fucking slaps. Very yeah. good when you infuse vodka with Jolly Ranchers. Uh, by the way, true. Big, that's true. Big, big thing. Hot um, like that. I would also say like, I mean, you could get fancy with the chocolate. You could go, you know, like Lind. You ever had a Lind? I don't know what a Lind, Lind is. L I N D T. Jeremy Lind. Oh, yeah, Jeremy Lind. <laughs> he should have came out with Lind. Should have came out with Jeremy Lind. Oh, balls. Lind. Lind. Oh, shit. Am I, how do you say it, Lind? I don't know. Oh, I just know. I've never read it before. But I, I'm a I'm a Dove man myself. God, Dove chocolate is unbelievable. I now know. this is like this is one percent chocolate we're talking. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. Right, right. But we're talking every man. This is Bezos shit. Uh, yeah, this is on a boat in the China Sea. No, he's Bezos. having shit we've never even heard. That's of. That's true. Yeah. He's having Mars chocolate, like actual Mars <laughs> chocolate. He's having I mean, like cacao healthy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because you know what's crazy? This actually makes me more ripped. <laughs> this gives me muscle definition. No one knows about this yet. No one. What knows. is that circular gold ball? <clears throat> that candy? That's the Ferrero Rocher. That oh, sorry. About. Okay. I've never said that name You've out loud. You've never said out loud. You just no. devoured it. I'm too scared I, to I say it. I got one for you. <laughs> I get it. I can't believe we haven't mentioned it. I think it's a classic. The Butterfinger. Mm. Oh. That is a big Love one. Love a Butterfinger. What about Heath's? A Heath, Heath bar. Heath is solid. Throw some Heath and coffee ice cream Woo! or vanilla ice cream. Throw some Heath in a fucking chocolate blizzard. Yeah. Or in a vanilla blizzard. Come is, get it. Is it hard to break in? Like, if we invented a chocolate bar. This is what we're talking How about, you boys. You guys, are getting in the, you guys are getting in the hooch game. I know. Let's get over to this fucking sweet treat. You're right. I'll tell you what. Just use my mind. Hook up wires to it. And I'll, I'll lay in a tub. And like I'll weird of, science? Yeah. And I'll, or like Minority Report with the oracles. Uh, I'll just lay in a tub with other stoners and yeah. think of delicious things. <laughs> You're laying in a tub of eggnog. <laughs> yeah, like, you know? uh, it's like a milkshake. Yeah. It's, an old milkshake. it's an old vanilla milkshake. Let's, uh, let's try the payday just so we do. Uh, because I feel bad that we know. Right, I think we got to right. try. If we're going to trash it, we have to try Well, it. get ready for something that was popular when Brown v. Board hit the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should be in charge of abortion. I mean, look what we can do. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Shitty. It's just like all peanuts. Look at this and caramel candy bar. Look at this. This is. Do you know what this is? This is dog food. <laughs> this is Schlitz beer of wow. candy. Is it My that bad? Like Schli- or he likes payday. It's all right. It's, it's, no, it's peanut fine. butter and caramel. I mean, I want to try it. I haven't had this forever. I you you feed a horse <laughs> when it wins. <laughs> when it loses. You put a wreath on it and give yeah. it the payday. <laughs> It's not very good. <laughs> no. But we, we have really to know what we're trashing. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you're I, right. I like that. All right. Wow. I'm having a crash. Yeah, it's not good. No. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have cocaine energy on the bonfire. I'm like, <laughs> hey, no, you're on us. Yeah. What was that? What was, remember that one you lick and you dip it? Fun dip? Fun dip. That was fucking fire. Fun dip. It's better than it's. You remember it better than it actually. Of course, oh. it, was, it was the original. Remember Pixie Sticks? Just oh, get that was that, that, was, that was that was Coke for kids. Yeah, yeah all the yeah. kids you saw two into Pixie Sticks, all are dead now. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence? They went yeah. Pixie Sticks, autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> to the kids that would make themselves pass out. Yeah, I oh, did that. Remember that? About that? Yeah. Those yeah. kids now are just adding this to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Ah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I left the kid with a pink stick, and he's like, doing that shit. <laughs> he's like offering the teacher to suck his dick for a better grade. <laughs> Come on, man, it ain't molestation if I touch you. Hit it, Peters. 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, it was mushroom. That's Hell what. yeah. You hear when, uh... <laughs> that is like, I think what a kid pictures coming feels like. Yeah. It's oh, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> getting, oh, I'm getting bigger. <laughs> I'm in a mushroom. That's what I'm gonna call it now. I'm a mushroom. Oh, oh, this is when you're... It's when you're fucking. Hey, oh, all these sounds when you're banging. And then when you juice too early, it's... Oh, this is Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, that's the, 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 the gun, yeah. Don't burn out. Yeah, yeah that's just too early. That's like, oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go so down beautiful. on you now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're so beautiful. <laughs> oh I think a compliment's going to save him. Right. Oh, my God, you're so, it's so beautiful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll never it's only, it's the only compliment followed by an apology. I know. <laughs> it is a compliment, using early. Yeah. Or, or the other one is like, my my reload time is crazy. Don't worry. Oh, you make the false one. promises. That's a Give big Give me 30 one. minutes. 30 minutes, you always say. Let's throw on an episode of uh, yeah, Seinfeld. But, but now now that we're bearing down on 40, it really becomes like a, well, that's all we got. Yeah, give me till Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, you're just, an old, you're just an old sea captain now. <laughs> yeah. You went from an Uzi to a fucking bazooka. Yeah. yeah. One right. shot. One shot, and if That's you don't, true. take you're a sniper. Right. right. Take the shot. You yeah. miss. You can't Sorry. hesitate. But you do learn precision. Yeah, you do. And to hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> My, I used to date this gal. We kind of had a thing. And she was the only girl I knew. I'm not great in bed, but if you put it in, she'd be like, yeah. And it was over, and you could just have your way. It was it was, it was heaven on earth. What uncle primed her for life? <laughs> uh, she was a soul cycle chick, I remember. So I think the bike got her all primed up all That's day. It. And then I got, I got over there, and it was yeah. just That easy seat's working the clit. Then you exactly. come and you finish the job. She it comes so in easy. like a yeah. cat in heat. Yeah. yeah. And I felt like what a girl must feel like. Like, oh, geez, you're done. But the beauty is women can just... Stay there. Is that Do why you, women like cycling more than men? It's much more comfortable ah, on the vagina than it is in the balls. Oh, probably. That's a great point. My my question is is like, uh, does she talk dirty like it's Soul Cycle, or she's like, okay, <laughs> got a big one coming up. <laughs> I need you to fuck, Mark. Go, girl. I need you to fart. And fuck it. Get it. Get <laughs> right, it in. Now pick up the weights. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Uh, uh, the irony. Let's, she's like, you don't need no man. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> let's go, team. Who else is here? <laughs> There's a big black guy waiting behind me. Like, right, Let's get this going. Man, I feel like that's a good list. I know we threw it together fast. Solid. Schindler's list right here. <laughs> Who are we saving? I don't, yeah, I, I do feel bad. But I think Starburst is a classic. I do feel bad having it all the way up. All here, right, but... you know what? Switch it with Twix. That's what I was thinking. Really? I like that. Mark, That's... do you agree? But you love Twix. I think Twix is a I, beer tw juice. I would say Twix is top five for me personally. Me too. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, all right. I'm with you. Right, right, right. You know what? Hell, I think, I think Starburst just went against a lot of good Big East schools, and you know what? Yes, right. it, that is true. Big East schools. Starburst had a harder schedule. Yeah. yeah. But okay. Oh Twix is a fucking classic. Oh, you freeze a Twix. That's a good fucking candy bar, too. Uh, I thought the Twix hard. candy bar was underrated, too. You know which one's great that my girlfriend does? What? Frozen Charleston Chew. I, I said that before. It's amazing. Oh, what Dude, the hell is a Charleston Chew? Oh, the, you pull on them, they're fucking... Oh, Charleston Chews are great. They're like chalky, up. though, a little bit. A little I chalky. chalky. I guess when, they're, when you freeze them, they kind of yeah, go... Yeah, the uh, mini ones are bad nice. bitches. You got to update your package. That package is so dated. I love it. It's uh, classic. Sweet tart, yeah. dude, sweet tart rope. I'm going to tell you right Whoa, now, the best candy on the market, and it's hard to find, are sweet tart rope bites. This shit, Whoa. I will siphon gas for you. That's heavy duty. That's how good sweet yeah. tart rope bites. You can siphon good. it with the rope. Well, here's Suck what the rope bites are. Out. These are the ropes. Sweet tart rope bites are little ones that are then rolled in sour sugar. Jesus oh. Christ. What about nerds? Nerd, the nerd nerd rope? Nerds are cute. What about nerd nerd rope? Nerd 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 actual dude. nerds. Those, uh. those blue sweet tart rope bites... Wow. It's, it's pure. Can we get, Matt, can we get those next week? I just want to try them. <laughs> I'm going to tell, tell you where they sell them. LaGuardia Terminal C. Damn, that's a road dog right there. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, you know the Terminal Airport candy selection? <laughs> yeah, dude. We, 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 were on the, we landed in uh, Phoenix and Vita goes, this looks like a nice Shake Shack. I'm like, we have such sad lives. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one. A nice Shake that's Shack. That's hilarious. Like, but yeah, if you go to the big market at LaGuardia, the Terminal C, the Delta, you can get some sweet tart rope bites because pretty much they're off the shelves. Is it like a real rope? No, it's just a little bite. Oh, uh, okay. And it's got the white chewy shit surrounded by, you know, like a tart. 
Fuck, it's good. Damn. I think Twizzlers took a stab at this type of shit, too, like the sour. So did Airheads, and Airheads missed big yeah. time. Oh, Airheads yeah. back in the day, though, was a banger. I'm back on Airheads. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> that we was actually away. how I we candy, a, too. Airheads is great. This is a great sober episode. <laughs> I know, right? I, I'd get the big bag yeah. for yeah. for Halloween that you could because yeah. they're, they're the minis too. Yeah. Can I can I make a point that's not popular? I Hit understand me, we're in Freddy. Halloween right now. Easter's the best candy holiday. Whoa! I I'm more of a Passover man, but listen, we get it. <laughs> Chocolate <But> what, matzo, bro. <laughs> listen, it's a it's a goy's day for candy. No, the, the eggs are phenomenal. Really? Oh, yeah. You put these eggs over Mini this? Mini eggs. Mini eggs. Now the mini eggs are the good. Eggs are Cadbury good. mini eggs. What about Kinder eggs? Kinder eggs are all right. Now, when you're checking Cadbury out- Cadbury mini eggs I may be a better than when anything I'm, when I'm checking out at CVS around Easter, you best believe I'm grabbing a mini egg. The mini eggs are solid. I'll go full egg, too. I'll go full Whoa, Cadbury egg. Oh, even the bunny I like. Oh, it's dude. Straight up chocolate Those Dunkin' bunny. Donut fucking jelly beans, oh. by the way, are dog shit. How are, we on, how are we not all 400 pounds when we've all tried this shit? What about shit? oatmeal cream pies? Love them. You know, they made a, you know they made an. Do you know they made an oatmeal track. cream pie? They made no, no, no. Cookies. It's, it's cookies are fair. It's a well, sweet. It's there's, Halloween. There's there's flubber nutter in it. It's a candy. Hold on, but that's though. a whole different list. Oatmeal cr oatmeal cream pie, which by the way made famous in Honey I Shrunk the Kids. When they that's find right. It, when they find it and feed the ant, that that's how they control the ant. That's right. Through food. Oatmeal cream pie. We got COVID. Katie and I got COVID at the same time. And Is this we, the Utah Wise Guys COVID? Yeah. And we did go puff that Mormon COVID. Yeah, it's that fucking multiple wives COVID. Yeah, we you get did, COVID and then you soak inside your girlfriend. You're like, oh, <laughs> don't move. We go puffed because they would deliver to your door. Whoa! And so we didn't have to have contact with anybody. Go puff had for like four days, maybe five days, oatmeal cream made by Little Debbie, oatmeal cream pie cereal. Mm. Oh it my was God. fucking that awesome. Good. That's a lot. It was fucking unbelievable. How little were they? They were like that big. Oh, that's And fun. they were airy, so you get the water Ooh. in there. Oatmeal cream pie cereal. You're not going to find it on Amazon. It's not available. Whoa. They, I think they pulled it from the market. Whoa. Probably going to give me cancer. We got to go to find Mexico. Find it at LaGuardia Airport, Terminal C. <laughs> no, hold on, smart guy. It's Terminal D. <laughs> smart guy. <laughs> Uncle cereal? That's too much. No. no. <laughs> oh, there fun. it is. Oh. You guys oh, mind if I do this real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys mind if I, uh, uh, this looks like something you see in Times Square. Yeah. This is where you pay on the subway, yeah. right? <laughs> the Yoshi jerk off. Yeah, right? yeah. First up. Uh, guys, can I tell you guys what I'm really into? It's Yoshi jerk off play. <laughs> 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 and I, catch my, I catch my own cum. Matt, <laughs> <laughs> clip that. Just right clip Zoder jerking off yeah. of the <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a gif. <laughs> Dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Irish we, potato. We're in, the Delta, we're in the Delta Lounge, and they have the, you know, they have chocolate chip cookies. I'm almost oh, like, yeah. I know chocolate chip cookies are good, but it's like almost too, I've had too many. Right. So I see a white chocolate macadamia. My fucking nipples get hard. That's, that's uh, yes. me right there. I white a, chocolate see macadamia is my favorite cookie it's of all so time. It's so good. Or you get a fucking oatmeal cookie in oh. there. It's, oh, Vito yeah. and I. Not we raisin, We took a red eye back. Raisin. Please. I love an oatmeal raisin. Uh, I don't understand the phenomenal. point of adding raisins to random bullshit. Well, like it's chicken the chocolate salad chip. It's or the chocolate fruit chip. of chocolate chip. And, you're, and it's also so stolen it's valor. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, because you're like you're getting people from afar being like, I might be an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Good which point. I'll fucking go all day. It's like a trans person. Yeah. Like, oh, I know what this you know, is. You, Wait a minute. I need you to call my filling by what it's called. Yeah, and you're like, well, it's already in my mouth. <laughs> Dude. You taking that red eye flight? There's something really sad about a red eye. We just wanted to get back. Oh, yeah. We're on that red eye. Ooh. And uh, we're just pounding desserts in the lounge. Yeah. Yeah. And Vito's doing that thing where he's like, are you going to have another? I'm like, I'll do it if you do. <laughs> Did we do this after the Saturday show? After the Sunday show. What? You so we, yeah, so yeah. we took it. Uh, well, I just wanted to get back. So it was a 7, wow. 7 p.m. show. We take the 11 p.m. back. I'm impressed. I, I'm impressed. So, dude, I, I do the, Last chop right I do the uh, upgrade. <laughs> I'm trying to get the upgrade to first class. And I'm, I'm in line. And there's... This has never happened to me before, but there's a guy trying to get on. He's trying to buy the last first oh. class ticket. And, I, and they're like, so you have to wait. We have to see if him buying it go through. And he had a bit of a language uh, difficulty. And I think it saved me getting that first class seat, brother. All right. Yeah, immigrants. I, 
Hell yeah. I think he was like, they were like, sir, it won't go through. And he's like, uh, gay. Uh. Oh. I was like, oh. Oh. Sir, so we're shutting the door. Was it a uh, Spanish? Indian? It was, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Asian? Okay. I think he was French, but I did a Spanish guy. Yeah, because oh, okay. I don't know. Sam French. just wanted to do an us versus them. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a standard but us I versus said, them. You know what? Yeah, they may be taking our jobs, but they're not taking our seats, yeah. brother. That's a good win. That's Build a very that good curtain. win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he didn't get on. Uh, he didn't get on the flight. Oh. It was great. Oh, it nice. was a great moment where she was like, "Sir, it won't. It won't go through." And I was like, "And Vitor's like, did you get it?" I was like, oh, "I broke the guy. You got it." Yeah. And you're like, "Get to the back, Vitor." <laughs> Vitor was searching <laughs> between three people. <laughs> you're in 28B. <laughs> now, now, where are you guys on this? Because I know you're an animal guy. Well, yeah. Yeah. You love animals. My dog is one of my favorite things on this earth. Okay, well, this could get dicey. Because I was just on a plane, and I noticed, I looked on the seat map, and I said, ooh, 5A is open. I'm yeah. taking it. Yeah. So I took 5A. It moved me way up from like 22B. Sure. Get to 5A. There's a lady there, nice little lady. German Shepherd. No. Mm. Service dog. Yeah. Now, the no. service dog is sitting between now, the seats. Is like, the service dog seater. an actual service dog? Was she blind? Was nothing. She... Nothing. Nothing. Nah, it's, I don't. I, I think don't it was like an that. anxiety. Here's why thing. I don't like that. I have a dog. Our dog probably weighs fifty pounds. She's a mutt. She stays at home. Yes. Or driving. She came on the road with me. Okay. Is that's it cool. leaking over in your seat? Of course. Yeah, yes. that dog. A German Shepherd's too big for a plane. It did the yeah. thing where he put his head on my my thigh, which I love was that, cute. Though. But I'm like. You're in my area, and I'm like, it should be in your area. Did Why I, is it in my area? Did I ever tell you this is how much I love dogs? That uh, we were on the Impractical Jokers cruise, mm. right? And Jay and I and Christine uh, bought an ounce of weed and got it on the boat. And we like had spent the whole night rolling joints and putting it in a cigarette pack, and we get it in. And the first night we smoke weed, everything's fine. I have a half a joint and a bunch of white chocolate macadamia oh, cookies baby. that I got from the fucking, uh, you know, the kitchen or whatever. And I ha that's what I had in my room. And I fell asleep watching the carbonara effect or whatever it's called, because <laughs> that's all they play is impractical jokers or whatever. Yeah. So I leave it on the desk. I go to sleep. We dock in the Bahamas. Uh -huh. I wake up to the sound of a dog. And my first reaction is like, oh, right. Someone brought a dog on this thing. Yeah. And it was a drug dog. And oh. Oh. <laughs> And got right up to my door and started scratching. And I got in trouble. I didn't get, like, kicked off or anything, but I got in trouble they for They took the cookies? They took the weed. I, the, 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 there was no weed in the cookies. The uh, cookies are legal. <laughs> I the thought cookies. it was a weed cookie for No, it was, oh, it was a regular cookie. It was weed, weed and cookie. regular cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're just shitty drug dogs. You're like, we're taking these, too. Yeah. You're like, ah. <laughs> That's for the cops. Oh, yeah. the cops. But they did. They just, I mean, I got in trouble because the, apparently the half a joint smelled enough that this dog got it. Whoa, damn. But I love dogs so much that I was like, my first reaction was like, dogs. And then I was like, yeah. wow. why are they searching? Why do they have drug sniffing dogs? Because the Bahamas, and there was a lot of people that got in trouble. A Ooh, lot it could have been Midnight Express there. for you, dude. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, I should have just jumped over the side. That'd be <laughs> funny if it was like uh, Sal's in the back going, go into Soda's room. Yeah. Go into Soda's room. <laughs> like, okay, ah! okay, now <laughs> ask where the cookies are from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Where well, the, dr the dog is man's best friend until it's drug sniffing. Yeah. Then it yeah. flips. You know? He's a prick. Yes, he turns on you. But dogs on airplanes, man, it that's like, uh, and if you're moving, I get it. There's situations where I understand it, but most of the time you're like, leave your dog at home. Yeah, there's yeah, all yeah. these studies now that, or get you, someone to you know watch it. Or but for or trauma, though, if you if, if you just pet dogs, it stimulates brain activity. It's like really good for you. To, I get it. Did you ever see Dan St. Germain's joke about? He got sober and he's like, I knew I was in trouble because they were in a field teaching me how to pet a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of that one. I think of that one. <laughs> he's so underrated. Ah, he's one of the funniest human beings him. alive. Hilarious. I love him. Yeah, Dan St. Germain fucking rules. When you uh, relapse, come on the show. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm joking. I'm joking. You ever hear Soder's bit about uh, he was on a date, he was, he was about to kiss a woman and some homeless guy yells out, Don't kiss him. Oh, St. Germain's bit? <laughs> yeah. Dude, he has a great one. Or, Don't do it. When he gets great. on an elevator. And he goes, Best case, that's me from the future. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> right. it's cold. Right. He has one about getting on an elevator with a little girl, and uh, like two flights in, she goes, I don't like him. Like <laughs> he's just holding a pizza, and then he leaves, and she goes, I'm glad he's gone. That's what it is. I'm <laughs> glad he's gone. I, I fucked that, that joke. That was fucking yeah. hilarious. I'm glad he's gone. <laughs> Dan St. Germain. He's like, I wasn't even doing anything. I was just holding a pizza. <laughs> Follow Daniel, either Dan St. Germain or Daniel St. Germain. It's on DSG, yeah, DS Germain yeah. on Germain. social media. Of course, media. he is a fucking he's, weird. Yeah, dude, he's Handle. so funny. God Wrestle Roast is a great, if you're into wrestling, 
hilarious podcast where they just roast wrestlers. But he's a oh, great yeah. comic. With too. Mike Lawrence? Yeah, yeah Lawrence and Dan. Scott Chaplin. They got a great Oh, I love those great. guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, St. Germain's great. I had to sleep in the same bed with him once uh, in, a, in a comedy fest, Ooh. which, you know, I love the guy. We've known each other, but, you know, the lights go out and you're just quiet and he's like, you ever kill a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to we sleep. Got, we got into an Uber in, in Tacoma. <laughs> we were going to a dispensary in Tacoma. We got in the Uber and uh, immediately St. Germain just goes, Hey, what's up with that Green River Killer? And the guy, like, <laughs> and it just looked like the guy was like, "Oh yeah," I'm yeah. like, "Dude, I, this isn't the conversation I want to be right, in." Yeah, but right. He knows he's one of those sweet guys who knows way too much about true crime. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. He's dark. He, he's the fucking man. I love Dan. He's the man. Yeah, he's such a great, great comedian, man. I yeah. know. He's at the cellar every now and then. I see him, but yeah, who knows? I think he's writing for stuff. But yeah, all right, we got the list. We got we tackled Mario. <laughs> I think we we're good. Do you have any peeves or wrecks oh, yeah. or, or bits or anything? Oh yeah, yeah, the three things. I forgot my phone. Um, what, what name the three things? I don't remember what it was. Pet peeve. Pet peeve is people who comfortably FaceTime in public. Oh, great one! If That's I can't one. see you react with a little grimace of like, I know, I know. Yes. Fucking dumb. Oh, with no headset, even you mean? Yeah, just loud. That's crazy. Like, I know. I know. Yeah. Like, I'll be walking my dog and I'll see people just FaceTiming and I'm like, I'm hearing your whole conversation. Yeah. That doesn't bother you? It's Eve. I had a guy doing a flight next to me once, no headphones, and, and his voice got like louder. Right. Yeah. I I'm do like, that. You, that's like crazy when you're just, you should be, at least be like, hey, what's up? I'm yes. Like, that's all that's, we ask that's for. That's the phone voice in public. I don't know what it is. You put me on speaker. I'm like, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> you want to make sure they hear it. I just, I, but pet peeve is... Um, no remorse, public FaceTime. Great people. Love it, love it. Why, why is a phone call, that's not great either, but it's still way more respectable than like a FaceTime. You know why? Because the FaceTime, they're going to see, if I'm like in line behind someone, they're seeing me. Oh, uh, yeah. they're talking that's to That's crazy. Like, I don't know. Have you noticed that those those people always get pissed off that, that you're like hearing their conversation? Yes, that's why it's my pet peeve. <laughs> like you're in my world as well. Yeah. Not, not only that, but that's it's, why it's my it's, pet peeve. It's like you you're doing this to me. Yeah. Right. You know why it's shittier than a phone call? It's because it's a combination of talking on the phone and texting. Yeah. Because you're not you're not looking live. And you're fucking on the phone. So you're looking at the phone. It, it's you have no none of your senses. Are there. Right. Yeah. You're right. locked that's in. Smell, that's it. Good point. Don't like it. All right. Don't like good, it. Good peeve. I got a peeve. I got a peeve for you. I was in line at Mamoon's uh, last night. This person's asking a hundred fucking questions about no. the food. I, and I was like, there should be a separate line for people who have oh, questions. Yeah. And then a line for people who know what the fuck they're doing. Totally. Yeah. There should be a novice line and a pro line. Yeah, because yes. that's also the thing I loved about cool. becoming, living in New York and learning how it worked was over time when we lived here that I could walk into a deli and be like, boop, boop, boop. Boop, yes. and they had my Man. sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese, plain bagel. Boom, I'm over to the side. Yeah. I got it paid for. I got my milk paid for, my chocolate milk. I'm good to go. Well, the city has a rhythm, and when you're going up there, I go, well, what, what does that one taste like? And how much for that one? You're, you're breaking the whole system. It makes me think of that Russman Eve bit where he's like, I tried to get a pizza bagel because I was hungry, and the lady said, uh, what happened? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened. I woke up in my apartment and I was hungry. Uh, and then I came here for a pizza bagel. He's been quoted on this podcast a lot. Oh, yeah. He's got fans. some bangers. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, all right. After Peeve, what was it? Rec. Recommendation. Recommendation. I'm not finished with the book, but I'm reading a classic that's so good. Why hasn't anyone told me this book? East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Oh, never, yeah. That is I a classic. That I don't know. It I is. Never. For what no, a, I never did, actually. What a, you would like it. Steinbeck's a beast. What yeah. a Mice good men, fucking yeah. book. It's yeah. thick. But it's like I'm halfway through and I'm like, I enjoy when I start reading it. Really? Which is very rare. Yeah, it's just about like about these two brothers and this fucking psychopath lady and that's where I'm at and they, no, one of them married that. her and the other one fucked her it's fucking crazy how do no, you write a, great a book like a, a fiction book like but that's what's crazy is Steinbeck's like this is like he's like this is my best one but he's also got Grapes of Wrath this yeah, is like right. our specials for them yeah right. he have Mice and Men too of Mice and Men he's yeah. very he's got, short he's got the Pearl he's got like he's got so Travels many good, with Charlie he's got so many good books yeah, he's got yeah, some, he's a, a lot of good ones too but East of Eden that's the one I'm reading right now the one all the way to the left from Amazon I bought it and uh, it's fucking great oh, yeah. Why? what made you buy it um there was a quote that I you know like uh, I was I saw a quote somewhere where it was like I don't need to be perfect so now I can be good and Whoa. I was like, oh, I like that. And I was like, what's that from? East of Eden? And I love Steinbeck. And I was like, yeah. I never read East of Eden. So I, I ordered it. And it just, it. Amazon, it shows up the next day. 
started reading it. And I was like, this is fucking good. That, I love a good fun quote. about reading a classic too. Oh, you're yeah. like, we're like, well, even if I don't love it, I'm going to be glad I did it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So true. But I love to hear a quote and you're like, that grabbed me. Yeah, exactly. Not the whole book. And that, you know, I think we live in the age right now where everyone acts perfect and everyone acts like, ah, I'm, there's too many goats. Everyone's calling everyone a goat. <laughs> a goat. You can't. Goat means one. The can't greatest of all times. You can't be. I saw someone put out a tweet where they're like, a podcast with a couple future goats. And you're like, that's, in, that's that incorrect. That makes sense. That is incorrect. Boy. Only one of them can be the goat. Only one of you. Well, now it's turned into, uh, yeah, well, people say a few of the goats. Or like, right. Yeah, yeah I, I've been saying on stage, it's like the way that right-wing people, right-wing people use the word patriot the way hot girls use the word literally. <laughs> it's like, I don't think, I think you're just using that because it makes you feel good at this yes, point. Yes, yes, exactly. Like, literally, I'm like, I believe it happened. Right. And, Ameri and then the right, like, hard writers are like, I'm a patriot. It's like, yeah. I got it. You well, love anytime America. Someone, anytime someone uh, texts me like an American flag emoji, I'm just like, I t I, on Rogan, I said how much that bugged me whenever yeah. someone will send me an American flag emoji or like when they have that in there. There's something about the fl just flags that bug me. Oh. And, uh, and now everyone tweets flags at that's me funny. all day. Uh, I think that's very funny. Uh, that's yeah. very, very funny. And I'm like, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I walked into that one. Yeah, no, yeah. I deserved it. <laughs> but you got a lot of range. I mean, this guy can jerk off as Yoshi and eat his own cum and and Reed Steinbeck. Wow, Come let's on. go. What a catch. Ow, ow, and he can do impressions. Ow, ow, the, Salina, yeah. the Salinas Valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I got I to peeve. Now, this one's a little more general, but I can't stand when people watch me eat. When someone's not eating and I'm eating, and they're like, "Boy, you're really, uh, you're really inhaling that thing." Oh, I hate you know, it. Oh, boy, yeah. hey, look, oh, you, you like mayo on there? Really? You go mayo? Yeah, do, huh? you go like, do you go to gas? Do you go to gas stations and talk about how they pump their cars? Yeah, exactly. You go, wow, low. that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of unleaded. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you're eating a burger like the tomato comes out. Like, oh, you lost that tomato. Like, yeah, yeah, I got it. I know. Stop Ooh, watching me. Are you fucking me. Al Michaels? <laughs> this is a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> I hate. I, it's an intimate thing to be eating. It's very annoying. Yes. If someone, it's like literally, it's like yeah, one you know step why? away if someone commenting on you fucking you're totally feeding. yeah right that's you feeding right yeah. so it's like i don't don't watch me feed yeah, yeah and there's those weird little moments where you're like get a little ketchup over here and you're like oh shit and they see all that it's too much it's too intimate yeah bobby kelly was on the bonfire yesterday oh he eats oh, no not anymore now he looks great he looks oh, good. okay he, he looks lost great so he lost like 50 pounds each. Oh, i think he lost over that over think, yeah and he looks great pull him and up jay and i jay and i got pizza in between our shows and we were eating mm -hmm. and and uh bobby's like see this is why i'm a good friend jay you got something in your beard i'm like it just happened uh <laughs> it just happened he might have caught this it what you're a bad friend you're eating pizza in front of a guy who's clearly on a diet yeah no yeah that was probably the mean part <laughs> but look at him that's he looks good oh he looks totally different yeah, yeah. even the face looks different no he thank looks god great. Dude. thank god he good for him. Dude, he got in there we'll we have were, him on here soon we were yeah. in a revolving door he has new special by the way is awesome it's on louis ck kill box it's called kill box yeah. louis ck.com uh but he wow bobby got into the rotating door with me <laughs> as a joke oh really and we got through i went bobby <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Don't ever do that again. Right. But I'm so proud of you for doing it. Wow, he looks he's like Brando in uh Holy in shit, he does the look Island like Brando. Of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. What is this, the freshman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, he, looks he looks great. so good, dude. Damn. I'm so proud of Bobby, dude. Good for him. And we'll, we'll have him on. I mean, does anyone kill like Bobby? No. Like the, the laughs in the, the room worst, is bananas. One of the worst experiences comedically of my life was I ran my hour before HBO at Edinburgh. Mm. At Edinburgh. Uh, at the Fringe Festival. And then went to Vegas <clears throat> to do the Cellar Vegas. Mm. We we're out there for a bachelor party. And I was like, I'll stay and, and work the weekend. And Bobby was taping Netflix's Degenerates. Oh, wow. And Liz put me after Bobby every night. Oh. Wow. Of him running his Degenerates. Set. Oh, my God. So it's God. not like he's TV clean. And you, you, yeah, he's you filthy get, and he's, he's filthy murdering. and it changed. The hardest follow there is, is a is a filthy killer. That's true. And it was, dude, it was like, I would go up there and you just felt the room. You know how you can feel yeah. Not that he's filthy, crack, but it's You like, know when you can feel it a, crackling yeah. like a fire has been put out? Oh, yeah. And everything's, you know, I, dude, I bombed four shows. And then, wow. you know, Bobby's like, you fucking pussy. What, you can't follow me? <laughs> yeah. And Liz is like, you fucking schmuck, you stink. <laughs> and the whole time I was like, this is... 
It's brutal, dude. Wow. You got to love that about Liz. She's the manager of the cellar yeah. for those at home. But Maybe we'll get her on for Bobby's We up. should get her on. She's, she's ah, great. Liz is the fucking But she the never greatest. changed. Like, the cellar has changed a little. It's gotten, like, yeah. more inclusive and all that. But, like, Liz is still, like, I'm going to be a hard-nosed cunt till the end. I love it. I don't give a shit. But, she's but when like you win character. her over, when yeah. you win her over. Oh, she's the best. And she's the, the most loyal person on the planet. Yes. She will... She will just trash you all day but if there was ever a jam yeah she's got you i did oh like, yeah like she helped me i did like a you know after you tape a special you're like what do i i'm supposed to do something i taped a special in new york so i was like i'll have a after party and she like was like do it at the fat black i'll help you uh, out we'll do this and dude. she like organized it and i was like this is so easy yeah I i've taped there. multiple things at the cellar yeah. you know like album specials and she organized it all yeah, yeah we do live she's bonfires every like, christmas because of her she's the best and yeah. it's it's crazy i mean it's like you know when you see like a show there'll be that that character who's like really nice but is full of shit yeah, yeah. she's the mean one who actually is a heart of gold ah, yes. that's exactly so she true is. where I, you're like is this person mean and then you're like oh no she's the best person yeah it's unbelievable it's part of the it's part of the vibe but it she, keeps the seller the seller Liz yes. Liz keeps the seller yes you're a little scared seller. of her in a good way a little and, the, and the new people Liz. being afraid of her I like it yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah shut the fuck up. Yes. She never takes a day off. Never. Yeah. They better be paying her well because she could be making. <laughs> I don't think I asked her once. She was like, Ugh. They we need to we need to do a podcast a and a Patreon and then just give that money to Liz. Yeah. yeah. Like this is for you keeping the integrity of the seller. The together. seller is the seller because of Liz. It really Absolutely is. Absolutely agree. Veter did his album in Vegas. Only so we could call it Vitor Las Vegas. That was literally the only reason why I did it in Vegas. But we all went out there. We, like, you know, supported. He filmed, like, 10, 20 minutes. Oh, that sets. was the weekend. What? That was the weekend I was out there. Oh, really? Did we see you? No, because you guys came Thursday, Friday. Uh, you guys were, like, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, because I came out Friday, Saturday. Oh, okay. Well, it was Ari. It was List. It was fun. And Vecchione. And and Liz is out there every night watching Veter with a clipboard and going like, okay, that joke killed. And she did all the legwork yeah. and she loved it. It was like a spreadsheet. It was She's one wild. of those people that needs to be doing shit. Yeah, always. yeah. And I, yeah. I, 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 I one of us has got to make her an executive producer of something so she can have fuck off money. Now you're talking. Yeah. Someone needs to put her, if you're another comic watching this and you know Liz and you have a big TV show coming up, yeah. give her a producer credit. So she can have fuck you money. The sad thing, though, is she got too much money, she might leave the cellar. Yeah. Which we need her there, too. So True. it's kind of a tough God, one. How do we keep her indentured? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, she once told me even if she was, like, hit it filthy rich, she would still, like, work for, like, the Dania Beach Improv. Or she nah. would just move to Florida <laughs> and just work. With, she's like, I need, I need the stimulation. Need something to do. She yeah. need, she's one of those people that, you know those people that, like, they can't retire. Yeah. Because yeah. the second they retire, they'll drop dead. Yeah, it's like That's Paterno. Right. Yeah. The second he had to stop work, he fucking died. And she the, used to watch me shower. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to fuck kids. <laughs> You'll believe that so YouTube doesn't pull this. Uh, <laughs> Dan Soda, everybody. Let Dan him Soda, we Go love on. you. You're the best. I love uh, you guys. Plug some dates, yeah. man. Uh, I got Nashville Zanies coming up. I got Ooh. Philly Helium Ooh, coming up. Man. I got, uh, when is this coming out? Uh, end of October. Halloween. Oh, Halloween. October yeah, 30, so right? November and December, I've got, uh, Zanies. I've got uh, oh Comedy Castle, Mark Ridley's oh, Comedy Castle, great club. and um, and Philly Helium. Also two shows, Bell House uh, in December in Brooklyn. Going to have a very fun show. That's going to be Saturday, I believe December twentieth. Hell yeah, Bell House, New York, and uh, Dan Saint Germain's going to be there. Going to have some other friends come through, and he literally or Mike Racine. There you, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, looking good there. Look at Thanks. Wait, Look Soder just, I mean, uh, St. Germain just texted you? Yeah. Oh, that's Did he really? Is yeah, he okay? so there it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's drunk in a tub and he's naked. Zany, Zany's Nashville Comedy Castle and uh, Houston Improv. Oh, Never done it. Oh, it's, it's a, a banger. One. That's a it's great fun. club. Yeah, December 1st through the 3rd and then Bell House in New York, December 10th. Love it. Uh, two shows at the Bell House, Philly, Helium after that. Maybe, so our, maybe, our, com. maybe our liquor partner, Chris Hart, will go see you. That'd yeah, go see fun. him. Look at that. Yeah. All right, I'm all over the road. Uh, this comes out later. You got to hit that puppy there. Uh, shit, oh, I'm doing Houston as well. Uh, the Joy Theater, New Orleans, Woo. the Wilburn, Beantown, New Haven, uh, more Wilbur, Fillmore in Philly, Woo. Buffalo Helium, that's going to be a tough slug. Toronto again. Uh, Cobbs, Cobbs baby. Sanford. Always want to do Cobbs. Never done it. You never done it? No, I'm excited. Hey, have fun, and then I'll see you back at the punchline.
Oh, Grady. damn. Okay. Same owners. It's the same owners. All right, Nashville, uh, <laughs> Hawaii. That'll be interesting. A lot of fun dates. Uh, come on out. Got a lot of stuff coming down. We're doing uh, when does, Sammy. Oh, yeah. New Brunswick, OKC, Springfield, Missouri, Fort Wayne, Kansas City, Tacoma, Spokane. Theater t- uh, tour just went on sale starting in January. That's uh, New Orleans. Austin, Dallas, Tulsa, Missouri, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Vegas, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Salt Lake City, Huntington, AC, Royal Oak, Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, New Haven, Boston, Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Charleston, Hell Durham, yeah. Virginia, Charlottesville, DC, Wilkes Bar, and Port Chester. Hell yeah, Samuel.com slash shows. Get fucking tickets now. Yeah. We love you. And buy bodegacatwhiskey.com. And uh, Patreon. watch our, all of our special yes. shows. He's got a great HBO special, yes. Son of a Gary. His Netflix half. He's got it's Comedy right. Central special. Watch HBO. <laughs> what? It's That's the only great. one I'll claim. No, you're a HBO. Killer. You're a killer. killer. You're Check a killer. him out. One of the best New York comics. Mormons. I'm sure going to tape something soon. Yeah, out to lunch. Check that out. Yeah. Get the bodega. Same time tomorrow, Netflix. Get a, get a shirt. Yeah. yeah, watch Sam's Netflix. Netflix and, uh, special. Praise Allah. Eat Beer candy. Jew, anything to plug here? Still to say less, if anybody needs, I just started my own little consulting agency for bars and restaurants, so Paper Plan NYC. There you go. I love it. For all your bar and restaurant needs. And check out Gotham Com- Gotham St. Studios. Germain. Yeah. And if you got a problem with this list, tweet about it. Start your own chain. Let's get the internet cooking. Thank you. Sunday's